there comes in their lifetime a special moment where they are figuratively tapped on the shoulder and offered a chance to do a special thing unique to them and fitted only for their talents. What a tragedy if that moment finds them unprepared or unqualified for that which could have been their finest hour. Sir Winston Churchill. All right, let's get it. Welcome to the Self Mastery, the audio experience podcast. My name is Franklin Jennings. To my right, Justin. What's good, brother? What's up, what's up, what's up? To my left, Stro. What's good, brother? Fellas. Let's get it. Let's Glad get it. in the building one more time. <laughs> one, one more <laughs> again, as they say. Hey, man. Hey, good yeah. to see y'all, man. Let's, let's, let's have some fun with this a little bit, man. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of talk going on, but let's do a, a one's got to go, all right? We're going to do one's got to go. Yes, sir. The comedian Damn. edition. The All right, comedian, comedian the comedic yep. edition. Shout out to Cat Williams. Cat Williams, man, he brought the it. world. <laughs> Change the world, dude. One, 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 one episode, <laughs> one three-hour episode. <laughs> and you wouldn't have thought it would have been him that did it. Like, uh-huh. not to say he's insignificant, but it's like you just wouldn't have thought it would have been him. No, uh-huh. but man, Caps, yeah. Five right, minutes looks. in, it was in. It, it, it Had was you fact checking? <laughs> five minutes in. Right Google, in the phone. Google yeah. was like, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Oh, we can't, we can't find Steve all that. Harvey, much. Steve Harvey's hair real? Like, dang. Dude, he went so in. So I been do that one. Well, yeah, so that was that was an old one. Y'all, do y'all remember when they were beefing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he yeah. Really? No, he really did. So they they were they were they were. It kind of was a beef, but then they both. I get. I think they. You could tell they sat down with their teams. Was like, you know, we can make a lot of money. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And they did a face off. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I remember. They yeah. Mess, he he smoked them though, didn't he? Yeah. Uh-huh. Steve Harvey went in. Uh huh. He did mm-hmm. his thing, but you know the person that goes second, they kind of got to. He's got. He yep. got all the material. He's yep. just like yeah, like in a battle rap. Cat Same thing. Yeah. Yo, y'all saw him put that wig on his head before he came out here. And I, I'm talking about that joint went viral. That was back when, when there was no Instagram reels. I don't know. Yeah. I think it was just YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, that joint yeah. was viral. Dude. He smoked his britches. Bro. It's crazy because, you know, when you and everybody now, when they look back at the pictures, it's like, oh, man, I can see that it's, that was It's fake. extremely it's a, perfect. Yeah. It's and like, I always man, how thought about he... that. I always thought about that. I'm like, dang, I think... Like, not even just the line, because you can get a straight but line. The ha- but the hair yeah. on top, I'm like, he gets Bro. his hair cut, trimmed every the snip five the, seconds. The yeah, scissors with they that on thing. it with the scissors just for like five, every five seconds. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, hold, break, mm-hmm. cut. <laughs> it was perfect. Mm-hmm. That joke was perfect, was man. Perfect. And that TWA. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My daddy's called TWA. Tiny Afro. That's it. That's exactly what it was. That's just like when I found out, was AJ from 106 and Park? He had fake hair. The dreads? I, I yes. didn't know to this what? day. Yes. Fake hair. I seen I sent That's I saw wow. it somewhere. I did he not had, know that. The, hold on. He had extensions. No, it? from what I can remember, and this was a while ago. The whole joint. But the whole thing. Wow. Because I remember seeing you his just haircut. My childhood, bro. <laughs> yeah, look I it literally up, thought look it up, look I thought that I thought look something up. was straight up. You ruined my teeth. Dreaded. Yeah, because like dang, yeah. Oh Seeing somebody goodness. with natural hair like that, yeah. Bro, I didn't know that. No, it made me wonder, yeah. They were the same left forever. Yeah, they were. They were. They didn't even know. they didn't even take that. Them? No, I don't, I don't think, think that's so. the thing. I think he he switched up. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's it's TV magic. It's, it's good. It's good. But all right, yo. So check it. One's got to go. Oh One's got to go. Oh we gonna go with Bill Cosby, mm. Eddie Murphy, Chappelle. And Martin. Bill Cosby, Eddie Murphy, Chappelle, Chappelle and Martin. And Martin. One's gotta go. You made it kinda easy, bro. Uh, that that ain't easy. How you go who you who who's who who do you have? Cause it, well oh, that was, that's a legend. That's a legend case, I guess. I was about to say, come uh, on. Uh, We're not talking about nothing on the, the okay, personal okay, side. Okay. We're talking about the material, the body of work. The thing I was fitting to go on. If we take them away, uh, we don't have what they what they brought. Shoot. If, if one's got to go, bro, you, you it's would almost easy for me. Yeah, almost easy. Had to do it. No pun intended. You would <laughs> oh, <I didn't> see. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, I knew, I knew. Oh, I had to, I had to be, oh, be, uh, be, you know, be a little in with Bill him. Bill Cosby. So if you throw in Bill in that, yeah, they're all standing on his shoulders. That's real. Can't that's real. Bill. That's that's hey, maybe you can. All mm. of them are standing on his shoulders. That who, somebody, if he wasn't there, somebody else would have done. Ah, make... that's not no? like how it works. Not, <laughs> not, not, yeah. in, not in the world of art, because mm. art builds on top of art. That's, that's good. That's I true. like that. I you like know, that. I like it, that. It really does. Like, like think about the cronut. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He first yeah. saw it, and then he took it and, and did a whole new thing. But yeah. maybe that idea wouldn't have came into his mind if shout out to it. What's yeah. his name? Dominique. If mm. Dominique hadn't created it. That makes sense. That makes it sense. Maybe a huge chance that yeah. in the parallel universe, Justin ain't mm-hmm. never make a cronut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And we, yeah. we, art, we, art we thank art, you. Bro. We yeah, thank yeah, you for the cronut. Yeah. We Shout thank you for the, the cronut. Music, <laughs> culinary, whatever yeah, yeah. you're doing. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Um, okay, we can't stay here oh, all day. Dang. I'm going to go with Martin. <sighs> go. Martin's gone. He's out here. I was hey, actually. I'm talking about, bro. I loved the show. Yeah. I loved every single episode. I watched it. That was part of my childhood. That and um, Fresh Prince. Mm. But I, I got to go with Martin, bro. Yeah. I can understand that. I got to go with Martin. Eddie and Bill Cosby could never leave that. List. No, no, you can't. There you are can't. a lot. What was it, the other one? Chappelle. You can't do it. You can't. Yeah, you can't take Chappelle off. You really can't take none of them. I was going to say, if one's got to go. If one's got to go, of all due respect, yeah. it's got to be Martin. And that's who I would go. Or Dave Chappelle. Because Dave Chappelle, both of them are yeah. seriously standing on the shoulders yeah. of Eddie and Cosby, bro. Exactly, yeah. Like, that's real. Yeah. That's just mine. Y'all, just but no, I, I, I had, yeah, I had Martin, too. Yeah, it's, Martin. Uh, it was hard to, it was tough. to go with that's because real. that show... Phew, yeah, man. I think that's where I I gotta keep it. And that's the thing too. It, I can't. I, I feel you. I can't picture my childhood without <laughs> looking at the Cosby Show, looking yeah. at Martin. Yeah. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. So Dave got to go. For me, it's gonna be. For me, it's gonna be Eddie, and I hate it. I hate it. Oh, I can see you PJ. going there. It's, it's Chappelle. For, Chappelle oh, for me is too real. The clumps. Yeah. And the PJs. Clumps has got it there. Yeah, they yeah. Added. So, and I, I, like low key. What what is the movie? Um, Dream Girls. Low key, mm. one of my favorite mu- musicals ever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Just because of Eddie. Yeah. Like when I found out he was actually doing the singing, actually doing all the everything yeah, he in that. It. He brought it. I was it. like, yeah. And I will sit here and listen to that yeah, he that really album. Can't sing. Pull thing. The world can't take him seriously. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, because he but made that I, song. I think in an alternate universe, he could have yeah. did. He wants to be a serious singer like Jamie mm-hmm. Foxx. He can yeah. switch over. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie Foxx, we was laughing at him too at first until uh-huh. he dropped that uh, overnight celebrity. Man, with, uh, mm-hmm. Twister wasn't it? Overnight celebrity. It Twister. Was oh, that the name of the song? Are you talking about celebrity? Oh, I know the song is oh, Celebrity yeah, Overnight, yeah, yeah. but. Uh, Yep. When he dropped yeah. that, yep. like, oh, he sang for real. Wow. Yeah. Like, I, this, I'm boop. Yeah. As play. if he wasn't Press already play. singing on the show. As if he wasn't a right. comedian. He right. He could have never been a comedian. That joint was a hit, hit, hit. Yeah. Now he brought it. He brought it. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that with yeah. Eddie, too. Like, actually wanting to pursue that as well. I'm, a, you know that's, what? That's, that I'm was, changing my answer. How you going to do go that? Dave Chappelle. Uh-huh. Wow. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad he, at it. What's your reason? I gotta go with that. What's the reason? Uh, because Martin, the impact on my childhood and all okay. that stuff. If okay. we were about to read, we were about to walk into another universe, and one of them had to go in yeah. that particular universe. I guess it would be, be Dave, and I'm pretty sure yeah. there's a lot of people in uh, LBGTQ plus community <laughs> that would uh, love that answer. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we could go without Dave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah, that would be easy. Dave, Dave won me. Uh, you know, all this is in fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Dave won me in, was it Blue Streak? He said, he said mm-hmm. I, I rip your stuff off mm-hmm. and I eat them. He said, yeah, I seen him do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I seen Because he was, he was kind of funny. Yeah. And what he had? He had um, um, the clumps. We said, women be shopping. Women uh, be shopping. That was Dave. Oh, you yeah. Remember? Yeah. A lot of people didn't know that that was yeah. Dave. I have to go back and look. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people didn't know that that was Dave. Okay. Dave, he, you know, he had like this big hat on. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. was being a character. He wasn't mm-hmm. being his normal Dave, like that was the stand up Dave. Yeah, right. He wasn't doing it. That was, wasn't he was that. Like, he was like, women be shopping. And remember he started roasting. That's right. He was the comedian there. Yeah. He yeah. Was the yeah. One yeah. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember he yeah, when, yeah, when yeah, Eddie yeah. bent over to um, pick up something, he said, "Look, I think they found <laughs> when he <laughs> had Jimmy Hoffa." <laughs> Bruh, they ro- he, they roasted him. That's bro. good. Yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. So Martin, Eddie. I mean, we talk about not to just mention Dream Girls and all stuff. We talking about like, um, so mm. I used to sneak and watch Def Comedy Jam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I can't get. I had to think about that thing, Martin. Had a huge impact on on me, like growing up. Like, yeah, Martin's Martin's yeah. my guy. Martin's my guy. The only reason why I could don't say my guy because I don't want Dave. To, um, I meet Dave. He don't want to come on the show because we <laughs> took him off. He gonna be, remember that? He'll be all right. He'll be all right. Said my guy. All of them, my guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but see, but the only thing with Martin was he kind of fell off yeah. later on. So that's why I kind of made it like that's I, true. I, I don't true. I don't uh, discredit the. Fell off was just rich and good and just living his life. I think he fell I mean, off. I, I feel like he fell okay. off. He, he did have wrong. those like health complications at one point. Yeah, that's which, right. He was just yeah. living his life. Oh, well, so, yeah. Because you, can, we talk about taking away Bad Boys. I like yeah. Now my, that ooh, and my, Bad Boys my is my favorite movie. Would, would, bad Boys is my favorite she movie. She would get mad listening. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Martin. Yeah, yeah. So I you gotta, can't. So yeah, I have to so go you got. So you trying to save yourself, but I understand. I understand. But now Bad Boys is my is my is actually top five. Bad Boys right now. Yeah. No, Bad Boys is top five. Yeah. Man. All right, well, yeah. Yeah. they all, everybody took away Martin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's what the no, record no, of the show. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, I know, I, took, I know. I took it. I'm just yeah. trying to take take uh, take everybody out. But, um, but yeah, cool. Good yeah. stuff, good stuff. That sounds so good, so crispy. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like that. all right, Bye. that's who's got to go. So, all right, man, well, let's touch into, uh, or get into something here. Well, while let's we're here, started. rather. You know, here we are. You know, we touched on uh, you know who I am and and what brought me down here to and how uh, we connected. How we connected, oh, yeah. you know, um, here in, in Richmond. Um, but you know, the the third part to this this trinity here is uh, Justin. You know, we got we going to dig in, man, and see what what who is Justin. You know, uh, the man behind JC Desserts. Uh, the Corona that's that's changed the game out here, and changed. I mean changed the game, period. But changed the game out here. It's like a, it's it's no, a I'm, no disrespect. It's huge. It's, it's respectfully. Yeah. The other Cronuts are just not matching up. The other people that's been driving them. Yeah. And I, I don't know anybody that's homemade making them like yeah. Justin, but I'm talking about the, these businesses and chains. I'm not. Yeah, they're name. not coming close. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see uh-huh. that John look like a scraggled up rat or something. Right. You like, got you got to put know, something uh-huh. a little bit more weird. into that. It yeah. No love in it. That's love. what's missing. Love. It had jealousy yeah. in it. <laughs> The cronuts I see, they had jealousy. Like, we gonna show him. They was making it like this. <laughs> think he got something. Watch this. Just me and that joint smoothing up Man. the butter. He be look. He be like Tiger Woods. He be. That's exactly. That's Man. the truth. That's yep. the truth, though. Yep. Like, but that's what it take, though, too. My uncle watched the video of me when I went in there. He said, bro, yeah, yeah, that guy is legit." Yep. Like, yeah, yeah. You got fans, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're right because someone. Someone, um, <laughs> another business, uh, another business, they was up in Nova, mm-hmm. um, Northern Virginia, mm-hmm. and they spotted someone else doing cronuts. <laughs> like, just at, like a regular market, one nothing crazy. And they sputtered a little bit different to me, like, which everyone does. Right, right. Um, but she was, she was like, nah, it's like, you got a, um, <laughs> you got a trademark on this? And I'm like, Trade. It's already trademarked. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. So that's why we spell it a little bit different than the original. So that's it's like, like trademark and banana pudding. <laughs> yeah, every, or, yeah, or this, sweet potato pie. Yeah. There's After 50 yeah. coin, yeah, the yeah. first person to do it just gets it. Dominique gets mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you just take yeah. it and run with right. it. You, you took, it, it. took it in a yeah, different direction. So, yeah. Yeah, but nah. Um, which, speaking of him, we actually, yeah, we were just went to New York. Uh, this past for New Year's. Tell us about it, bro. Mm. Oh, that thing was mm. that thing was crazy. Too many people from my southern <laughs> comfort. I ain't gonna lie, but it's it's good to be in it, knowing that you're gonna be in it for like a weekend That's or real. a vacation, That's real. long yeah, as yeah, a vacation. Yeah. So it was like, on one hand, it was like ah, that's not my scene, but at the same time, it was like this is good. It's man. good to be somewhere different. Nothing like the city, man. When you first got there, like like for real, no, because because I remember my first time in New York, so and they used to tell me don't look up. And how did you? It was a different time period. Mm-hmm. I was in Brooklyn, so it was like, don't look up. When you look up, you're ah. automatically a tourist. Yeah. Mm. Well, how'd you get here too? Like, was it plane, train? Oh, okay, okay. Like so um, on the way up there, we we took the the bus, which is called the jet. Um, okay. So it only has like 15, 16 seats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's it's all just it's decked out. The seats, you know, 
let your feet out, sit it back. Um, they have this like air injection where it's like you just pump it up where it's, the oh. seat, the back, your back seat is like boom, wet firmness and you want it. So, um, oh, okay. They yeah. walk around as soon as you get on, hot little hand towel, here you go, uh, snacks, all that good stuff. Oh, so, hand towels, I ain't Man, I'm telling you, it was nice. I and it was, sound like the little flight to Dubai, the Emirates. It was, yeah. it was all worth that hundred dollar ticket. Like when that's I, it. Exactly. I was gonna say exactly. I will take that thing back. And yeah. Forth. <laughs> I, <laughs> sure. Bro, sightseeing and all that. Yeah. 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 The jet. The jet. Okay. The jet. Okay. So it only goes from DC to New York. So oh, it goes okay. back and forth. I've, I got you. So otherwise, yeah, but we took a train up to D.C., then took the bus up to New York. Okay. Got gotcha. you. So it was pretty It was pretty dope. That's pretty, it was pretty dope. Nice. Uh, but, nice. yeah, we got out. Towels, You're right. Hey, exactly. Like Didn't even know that was exactly. available. Exactly. It was. Well, I was like, possible. Yeah, me, uh, <laughs> put it on my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, That's it was good. good, though. It was good. Nice. Um, oh, yeah, they had free drinks, too. I actually didn't partake because I forgot about it. But, yeah, they had free drinks. Okay. Um, uh-huh. Nice. That's crazy. Nice. So yeah, shout out to the Jet. Uh, good experience. Yeah, man. Yeah, five man. stars. Would recommend. Five, would five recommend. stars <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Thumbs um, up. Got you. But yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, I didn't look up because I mean, you get to see it as you come in. It's not no, like no, no. so you can look up now. Yeah. But there was a time where when you looked up, it would you would basically mm-hmm. say, "Hey, wow, I'm gonna do it. yeah, I'm pick my pocket right now." Yeah. And picking yeah. pockets were big in the 90s. I've, I think I almost had an attempt on me uh, while I was really? there. Somebody mm. brushed up on you. Yeah. yeah. Typical. Oh, let me I bump into you. Still mm. doing it. Mm-hmm. And then let me put my hand on you and say, oh, I'm sorry. And I was like, good thing I ain't had nothing in my pockets because I for sure was like, as soon as that happened, I'm checking my yeah, pockets. I, I, yeah. So I, you know what? I'm not going to. To no, say don't what I do on this don't podcast. Don't share. You know yeah, 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 yeah. If somebody yeah, see me, they're going to know exactly what right, I'm going to do. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, don't but, do that. Don't I, do that. I put my wallet in a different place yep. mm-hmm. when yep. I go to New York. Mm-hmm. It's just mm-hmm. a PTSD mm-hmm. from the 90s, late 90s. It's smart. Yeah. No, no, no. But yeah, um, yeah, we got there, uh, went to the Tempo Hotel. It was super dope. Um, the fl- we had so many options from the hotels up there, but it was like, <laughs> it's New Year's. Everything is crazy expensive. Like, yeah. what is going to make it, you know, the most enjoyable experience? Right. While right. we can still, you know, balance the budget to where we, we're not only going to just be at the hotel. You know, we want to experience. Everything oh yeah, you else. gotta you get know, out. Has yeah. to help. Yeah. So um, we got a nice deal on the Tempo Hotel, which was right there in Times Square. Nice. Um, we didn't get the room to actually see the ball drop. But we was we was all right there. Okay. We ain't missed nothing. Okay. No, we seen it on um, Instagram. I think you posted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was right there, bro. Yeah, yeah. He was like, "How much that goes?" I don't even want to. Uh, don't say. Don't say. No, it was all right. Though. It was all right. Think about it. Worse. Think about it. It could have been worse. I ain't gonna lie to you. you. Hey, you mm-hmm. did. So that's all yeah, about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, and I think um, my woman. She all she did was she called about something, and then they ended up upgrading us to a higher room. Mm. And it oh. won't even on no like, like but, yeah, big problem. Man. Yeah, it won't even know, nothing like she that. Did. She was like, um, I have Justin from Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, better upgrade right. this room before we so, right yeah, sure. but not. Nah, it was right. good. It was good. It was right. good. Nice, nice, good. nice. But yeah, we was we was a tourist for sure. And, oh, for sure. Like, let's go to for all sure. the stuff you know we want to go to. Enjoy, and then, enjoy. Next time come around, like let's hit the like you know. Man, it's so much. Yeah, from New York last bro. last time we went. Man, I couldn't even ask for directions, bro. Yeah. Everybody sure. asked for dir- directions, yeah. Justin. A say, lot of stuff changed, oh, too. I just moved here this year. Yeah. So, um, oh, well, uh-huh. then, yeah, that too. Maybe yeah. ask a cop or something. Like, <laughs> I had to ask cop. Yeah. But a cop, like, when we, Legit. you know. Wow. You know. Yeah. Because sometimes your phone died because you've been running all day. And, uh, yeah. You know, your phone can die, you know, do your subway, if you're doing subway. Yeah. Um, we do subway com- commute. We, uh, <laughs> yeah. We boop, boop, boop. Yep. Andrew from Brooklyn, you know how that goes. See, I, I was not going. Uh, yeah, don't risk it. I, I That's how Kelsey was. Yeah, I was always. on that Uber all day. Every day. <laughs> so here's the key: if you go back, yeah. when you go back, yep. and you take the subway, you put your headphones in, and you look mean as hell. <laughs> yep. Let's go to this. And you go to sleep or act like you sleep. They just know you from New York. You're mm. Good. The mm. subway is uh, it's definitely an experience. Like when I went. Couple times when I was up there with my wife uh, Kelsey, she, uh, you know, she made fun of me because, you know, of course I'm supposed to know how to get around mm-hmm. from here, and 
there was a train. I think they changed the tracks going to somewhere. She's like, ah, you don't know where you're going or something like she's I'm like, yo, this is not supposed to happen. This, this joint's supposed to go here, and we would have got here in this amount of time. So we had like a detour. Yeah, you're supposed to be from how you don't know everything. Right. right. But um, but no, nah, that that same thing. Oh yeah, yeah, as soon as it as soon as it Didn't happened. Didn't spare you a bit. Didn't, but yeah, but no, nah, the subway, that's that's an experience in itself, man. But yeah, uh-huh. that's that's uh-huh. good, man. Yeah, yeah, nah, we we hit up. Yeah, what happened? What happened? We went, we was just driving back from somewhere. We was headed to the hotel. Mm-hmm. And then this is where my injury happened. Uh, <laughs> we just happened to see, we was riding by. Can we post um, it? Can we, <laughs> Can we please? Right. <laughs> Can we please? <laughs> slow mo. Slow mo. Slow mo. Definitely. We insert it in the Yo, podcast. Yes. Right, where, yeah. right, right where you said that. Right please. So, that one of the days we was just riding that. back and then. Um, <laughs> Don't tell them where, where you were. <laughs> I, I ain't mad at it. It was in a museum. It was, was in a museum. museum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of, of fun sorts. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. Let's say that. And Makes then, sense. Uh, the rest is none of your business. You know what I'm saying? None yeah, of we, we, yeah, we rolled by the first day, and then we saw it. And then the second day, I was like, you know, we got time. Like, let's go ahead. Go in there and check it out. Yeah. Um. Adult only. Let's just say that. Yeah. We'll say we'll keep it at that. He just had to throw it. Go ahead. Just, I mean, anyway, <laughs> Show only. business, man. Go no, ahead. I ain't gonna, nothing too crazy. This is the podcast. This we is, telling everybody. Hey. We in New York. Okay. It's we gonna be in there. We ain't got that in Richmond. Yeah. <laughs> got, if it real. is, it's psh, underground somewhere. I was gonna say yeah. weird. But um, nah, we saw it. Went in there, and then cool little experience. You know, they had some interactive elements, which. <laughs> A little weird on one <laughs> angle. Interactive angle. is a good word to use. <laughs> That's a good word to use. Interactive. Y'all just got to go. Towels. I know. We went from the warm towels of, you know, we was Different relaxing. Need for the to warm the, towel in there. Yeah, I did need warm towels. That thing was crazy. Uh, <laughs> but no, we went in there and then they had this like little fun bouncy area. Our bounce house was. Which of what it was supposed to be. It uh, wasn't really too bouncy. Um, yeah. But yeah, hit something, <laughs> fell over, <laughs> right on my neck. It looked so, so when you sent me the video, mm-hmm. have you seen I the seen video? the video, yeah. He sent, it to, he sent it to both of us? Yeah, he sent it so, to so the chat. It looked like he was just, you know, it was one of them. It you know, looked. One of the moments where you, you, you're being funny with your girl and you're just like, hey, watch this. It looked like that's how it, it started. Like that's, that's how it started. Yeah. That how it right. That's what happened. You know what? Because we thought about it like afterwards. It was like, this is one of those reels where it's like, uh, how did I get here? Yeah. You just <laughs> yeah, disappeared. Yeah. Oh, they yeah, froze yeah, at, at this moment. Mm-hmm. He knew he. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Once so, he disappeared, I was like, oh. Yeah. Nah, he just disappeared behind didn't, the balls. Like, that, didn't, that didn't go how yeah. he planned. So. Yeah, but nah, it, it was just a little like little whiplash symptoms. A little nothing too crazy. Good, so, good. That's yeah, crazy. I now. never would have thought all that would have happened because it, it, you she get, even laughed on the video. Nah, I, like, I got <laughs> back up like, you know me, I'm, I'm going to get back up like nothing happened. I'm, I'm going to play it off. But you ate nah, it. Yeah, you ate it. Yeah. You got to eat it in the moment. You got to eat it. Nah, by the time I woke up the next morning, I was, I couldn't can't turn left. I was going to say, yeah, that's. You going to feel that one in the morning? That's exactly what yeah. Yeah, yeah, but no, nah, it was a good, man. it was a good experience though. It was a good cool. experience. So good, man. Well, good. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Let's 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 get into it. Man. So yeah, man. Yeah, Justin, really man. Like who 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 is Justin, man? Where what? Who? Give us the the beginning, man. And, and how beginning. far can we go? Because I know you you've told us a lot of stuff. Most yeah. central. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how yeah. comfortable are you going? Because your early life. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Do you want to you know tell everybody? You know. I mean, it's up to yeah, you, man. Talk. I mean, yeah. you, you, you hmm. tell them, to, you know. We'll start early childhood. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. start early yeah. childhood. Um, it's all on you, man. Cause, but, but the big, biggest thing is, it's not about telling all your business. Oh, yeah, but yeah, what yeah, it yeah. is about is, um, the reason why we're doing this, we, we're we not uh, viral. Well, I went viral, but we're not famous. Right, we right. We do this. We're doing this audio experience slash podcast because that's what it's categorized. Because we want you who have followed us for whatever reason. Right. Any of us three. Yeah, to number one, get the sauce. I mean, we just want to give you the recipe. We 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 feel like we've done some things. Yeah, Lord knows we're not homeless. We know we're not begging for, for money or anything. We're in a good position, and we just want to show you how we got it. Number two, yep. we just want to invite you into our world and let us know, let you know that it's not sweet. Real, yeah. It's ups and downs over here. Amen. So whatever you think you think of us, <laughs> for whatever reason, I promise you. Uh, be careful praying that prayer. I wish I had what Stroke got. I wish mm-hmm. I had what that man got. Yeah. That man got because uh, you do not know That's how that they've been squeezed. Right. That's the message right there. You yeah, see yeah. what I'm saying? So now, 
I'm yeah. just trying to set it up good for you, man. Shoot that thing. What, what we'll is have to come, <laughs> don't don't lose that point. Let, let's no. come back to that. Right. Let's oh. come back to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, starting off, uh, it started off. Well, the first part. Let's say this: learning that I was colorblind at an early age. Not, That's what I was talking about. I didn't, yeah, I, I ain't. Yeah. I ain't oh say, yeah. Can yeah, you yeah. tell them about you being colorblind? Yeah. I, I, no. I don't know how sensitive that is for you. you know oh no, saying? no. I it's no. Know. We normal now. Okay. We normal. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, even within that, it's like you like for me, I was comfortable even like let's say twenty in my early twenties, mm-hmm. where I was like, okay, I'm in, I'm in whatever job field I'm in. Um, even after getting into pastries, it's like, okay, I'm comfortable with, you know, telling somebody at the job, like, hey, this is what's up. If I pick the wrong color or whatever the case is, like, hey, just correct me. And, like, it's cool. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. so with me being comfortable with that, though. Yeah, that's big. It took, big. It took yeah. maybe, like, two or three times where I realized, like, even though I'm comfortable with this information, mm. they switch up to where it's like, oh, it's almost like, you don't know how to do your job in a sense. Mm-hmm. So it's like, once I realized that was happening, it was like to tell it or not to tell it is the question. Exactly. Yeah, like yeah. You gotta you gotta really pick and choose when to like pull that out. Yeah. Like, so that's good. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's like I, I, so I'm, I'm asking. I'm being totally the devil's advocate. Right? Yeah. Like I want to talk for somebody that don't know nothing because I really don't. I really don't know nothing about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you just literally was you like? How did you even know? Because it's mm. your vision. You've oh, had yeah. it since you forever. Yeah, so, so how I've, did you know? Yeah. So my parents, um, and it started with stoplights. So green light mm. on the stoplight, Bro. Uh, it's very, in my sense, it looks white. It l- just looks like a regular white light. To this day? Yeah. It's, it's only like. Man, I feel like he's a superhero or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's real. There's, you see through this wall? Like, I, nah, nah, it's it, kind of cool. I'm, I'm just. I'm, it, it's it, very it's, few instances where I, it's like I catch it at the, like, the right angle or somewhere. I was like, oh, I can kind of see that it's green. But mm. otherwise, it just looks like a regular light in your house. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is so I was gonna say, foreign no. from my yeah. thinking that I can't even right. imagine. Like, how do you, yeah. Like, seeing the world mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, so it's like. Through, I think my parents, yeah. So my kindergarten teacher, she spotted it at some point and told my parents. They and always then, be telling. Yeah, my yeah. Kindergarten so, teacher got yep. me glasses. She was like, well, Michael keeps squinting. Mm-hmm. He's squinting. Mm-hmm. And I was like, bro, next thing you know, I had these big old yeah, yeah, 1980s. Yeah. You can see everything. Glasses. I see yeah, everything, man. I couldn't see nothing, bro. See, but no, nah, they, they caught it. They told me. Um, I think even for a while, it was still like, I, it took a long time for me to actually grasp what was going on. Because it was just like, you didn't oh. Care. Yeah, for me, it's just like, well, on one hand, I kind of feel like I don't know my colors, but I'm going to just tell you what I think it is anyway, mm. just like a normal person. So it's like, mm. well, if it's wrong, it's wrong. It's, yeah, like, it is all, right. All lives matter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see color. Right. We ain't not going to get into that. Um, <laughs> don't don't write us no nasty comments. Okay? Jeez. Right, they coming. They coming now. They but no, nah, just growing up with it. Um, and now they have, you know, like the sunshades where it's like you can put it on and like it corrects your color blindness. Huh. But of course, it's not 100% proof. So everybody does isn't it affected by it. Okay. Um, or just. Is there any latest laser surgery or something you can get or anything? Not to my knowledge. No. Wow. Because yeah. yeah. you know they, they correct your visual laser surgery. LASIK, I yeah. I have something for. But yeah, I think that's totally them. different though. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's just like the way the light comes into your mm-hmm. eyeball. Elon yeah. Musk, if you're listening. Right? Ain't that Hook it up. Yeah, he can, he, he can do it. Elon can get it done. Elon get Shoot. it done. But nah, it was it was. Otherwise, it was normal growing up. Um, yeah, outside dope. of that, it's bro, dope. Nobody knew. Mm-hmm. I, I, and right. You know what? You gotta Y'all think about it. it. Like, bro, at what point in the drum line we would have we would have even found out? Like, yeah, it, get those red it, sticks over there. Right. And he's like, no, bro, get those sticks. Those right. Red, yeah. Like, yeah. You know what but I'm it is that though. It is that. But that, that so, never happened. Yeah. That's yeah. What I'm say. Yeah. So if it's like you hid that joint all through high school. Yeah. Yeah. So, so for ladies and yeah. gentlemen, me and Justin went to high school together, and we have managed to stay uh-huh. friends, you know, I mean, from a distance until our paths crossed according to the success and uh-huh. us being on, you know, you mm-hmm. got to pull people in your life who you want, mm-hmm. um, who are, it, it just matters. I mean, ever uh-huh. since I hit 30, I want to have more people such as yourself right. and Franklin with yep. me. Right, and right. I, I would get on Franklin's butt before you, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I would get on Frank, bruh, Franklin, bruh, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> bruh, bruh, I know you in love, but bro, get out. 
You got no, you got it really for real mm-hmm. because yeah. as you get older, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I watched, you know, people, relatives. I watched my my dad. You know, when somebody would get on his bad side, they would just cut him off. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so yeah. I, I just didn't. Want, I don't want to be like that. I want right. to whatever it is. Let's work through it. True. Let's figure True. it out because at the end of the day. Um, even the more successful you get, yeah. it's less of us that that's, we see. That's very true. So I want to make sure this this pot, this audio experience is another way we're keeping together. Uh-huh. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's real. So uh-huh. yeah, so bro, uh, we went to high school together, and we were in the drum line together, and I did not know about the color blind. But now that make uh-huh. it, it kind of makes sense. And I didn't know he cooked. So if somebody listening is like, "Well, you didn't know him," that, yeah, 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 that might be true. That, that's okay. Because I think the reason why I was gonna say that's they okay. knew I played piano is because there, there would always be a piano right. somewhere, like right. a chorus room or something, and I'd be playing. The word got out mm-hmm. that I really play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But other than that, but not, people really it, don't know you that you go to school with. Well, yeah. They really don't know you. No. I, I mean, they know you. No. That's kind of expected, I think. No, but even with like the cooking part, it was like I never – it wasn't even a thing for me to be like that's something I do. It was just like something on a holiday or – if so I you just were wanted, doing it back there. I was right? gonna say, so yeah, how long? Very, very minuscule, as in like. So what's minuscule to Justin? That's normal, what no, normal child like right. making eggs. Oh no, no, I definitely not, <laughs> no, no. Okay, because I, I was made a, eggs. I made eggs. See, I was gonna say, but eggs. you was already ahead of me. Eggs and pancakes. Oh, wow. Bro, oh, since, nah, pancakes. I would throw down bro. on some pancakes as a kid. See, but and I learned by staring at my mom do it. I wouldn't ask her. I just, I just kept staring at her. And you got that visual. But no, nah, no, nah, it started, um, I was just baking regular stuff, like box cookies or the frozen cookies with, the, like, the little um, yeah. Pillsbury mm-hmm. stuff or mm-hmm. uh, the box case you get from the store. You just pick it up. Yeah. Ain't nothing too crazy. Like, yeah. I started off as normal as you could possibly be. Wow. Um, and then it wasn't until I went. So, yeah, after I graduated high school, went to Morgan State up in Baltimore. Um, I was going to study to be a uh, landscape architect because that's. I know, I know. Young black, how did I get from here to here? But yeah, yo, this stuff we didn't know. Y'all. That's real. That's, yeah. So, wow. And I was thinking about this a little but bit earlier makes a lot too. Of sense though. I was thinking about this earlier. Where I was like, man, I was really at one point in the crib, just like making like little mock houses out of like cardboard and like doing yeah. like trying to do like interior decorating. Wow. Think wow. Those little model cars and stuff that you could build from yeah, scratch. Yeah, yeah. Those you get I, at Walmart. I yeah, I did think those was cool. I, I never had one. Though. I did one. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. That's cool. fun. That's yeah. fun. You have yeah. one, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I had, well, I, had, I, I didn't have, have like... Um, a lot of people didn't I did, have experience. I did that with like my grandpops. Like he he bro, had he did stuff like that. You get mm-hmm. these little cars yeah. and it just it's only pieces. Mm-hmm. You gotta yeah. put the whole thing together. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. Ahead. No, I was always doing something creative because like even when like... I think it was a certain point where like my childhood like neighborhood friend, hmm. he had ended up leaving at one point. And it was just like, well, what am I doing? I, we was in the BMX and all that stuff. Mm. And I was like, you know, it same. Be, mm-hmm. It was it be cool to put that hit that hit us hard. Mm-hmm. Man, I, Tony mm-hmm. Hawk, exactly. I like the video I game, but yeah, I, we was I out went there, out there. Right? I was on the video game. We was out there, yo. <laughs> and at one point, I was just like, I was drawing up um, like this stuff to like actually put rockets on a uh, to propel the bike to where it's like. What we wow. now call like I guess just regular um, electric bikes. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it was like I was trying to put something on it, propel us, and all this other stuff. And it was like, man, I was really like trying to do stuff back then. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's just like transferred to me like really learning about landscape when I was doing that. Hmm. And it was like, man, this is what I kind of want to get into. And then once I got into Baltimore, I was like, eh, I ain't trying to be here in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. And then once I like came back to Richmond, and then found like, well. Cooking, baking is like what I like to do. Mm. Like, let me research this a little bit. Let wow. me see if it's an actual career in this. And it's like, yeah, you can work for me. this hotel, this you know, country club, golf club, whatever. And it was like, boom. Well, my even before I got to culinary school, it was like, all right, I want to work for the Ritz. And then from there, it's like, hmm. what next? But yeah, that was so, so. You didn't have the full plan out. You just knew this is a way I can make money. Yeah. So well. This is a way I can that's have how, a career, maybe? Yeah, and that's how it started off. Because like, cause I was actually looking to be like either get into military or like be a police officer. Yeah, we want you to take your time with it. Don't just oh, jump yeah, no. into the yeah, yeah. Don't no, jump no, no. too fast. So, he's just not there. He's not there. Like, I know he's not. 
Yeah, because I went because during that time where I like stepped back, I was like, all right, what do I want to like mm-hmm. really jump into as a career? Mm-hmm. That's where I was like, all right, I can, I can be in the military. Like I know it's going to be hard. My dad was in a in the Marines, yeah. and it was like yeah. I can do it. Mm. But then once I found out after research, you can't be doing all that stuff and be colorblind. Mm. So it was like mm. scratch all of that. What's something I like to do? Period. That's great. Um, That's good. You know what I like? I like the fact that you haven't mentioned anyone else yet. Mm. And I mean that in a positive way. Mm. He's not one of these people that just saw somebody do it. Bro, that's, that was me. I saw somebody whip and absolutely murder a piano and organ, and that made me want to do it. But Justin was he he self-made. It. Yeah, he liked what he was. And it's like... Let me see what works for me. Yeah. That's rare, mm-hmm. bro. That's yeah. rare. I don't, I don't, I don't even hear that a lot. No, and it's that like, makes sense though. Even you you, didn't, you to, didn't just see somebody cooking. It was like, oh, I want to do that. Well, even with that, it was like my dad. He would be the one, like he was like the guy who was cooking in the house because mm. okay. that's just his so thing. So that's an influence. Mm-hmm. But it was like even thinking about that, it was I was never interested into it to where it was like. Dad, let me show me how you like to do right. whatever. Trying to push you into it at right. all? No, no, no. If that's, anything, that's dope though. That's if like, anything, my yeah, parents. Yeah. Well, probably my mother. She was probably like, "Well, yeah, your daddy outside working on the car. Go, you know, go out there with him, <laughs> see what's going on." Yeah, of course. And I probably I was never interested in, even with the cars until like I got one. And it was mm-hmm. like, bro, how I'm gonna put the rims on this? How I'm gonna put the, you know what I mean? Us in the creative space, bro. <laughs> I was never into like the building of the, mm-hmm. the model car. That's where it stopped. I wasn't mm-hmm. into, yeah, let's go outside and change the oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I don't know. I liked. Um, I never was. I like to, you know, that's something that I, I want to to do. It's mm-hmm. like actually, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. not one growing up. Well, you know, like mm-hmm. well, st- but even then, I like, no I guess I had different different. Uh, Influences around me, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, movies like uh, and I, I'm a big, I'm a movie buff. So movies like um, Gone in sixty seconds, uh-huh. where the guy oh, okay. took the shell. Yep. Well, yeah. he stole the the Ford, the Shelby. Uh, yeah, the that's a beautiful, GT. beautiful car. And then later yeah. on, he ends up getting the shell of it to to make his own. But yep. like that's something that. I was always like, man, that would be hot just to I be able to do early that, throw an engine in there. Furious. Yep. Yeah, I like to have a hobby car. In my yeah, 50s. yeah, yeah. Somewhere yeah. you 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 know you just tinker with it every so often. Like mm-hmm. I right, added the and added the water pump, added the cam, whatever I'm gonna do. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that was when I was in. I don't say into it, but I was like, yeah. I was like, let me go work on the car, like, try yeah. to, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> but even now, it's like, really, it was just, even seeing my dad was, like, in the kitchen, seeing him, like, working out um, on the cars and stuff, mm-hmm. and I was like, man, this guy, like, knows so much. A lot of stuff. That's real. And it's like, it's not even about it, like, being the jack of all trades and all. It's mm-hmm. like, like, even now, like, as I think about it, it's like, that's, that's a man. Yeah. That's a man. That's dope. Dude. That's dope. It's like being able to take care of everyone. Yeah. And like, it's not even That's like, real. oh, he knows everything, but it's like he has a, the capability to be like, let me find out, let me figure it out, what it's it so is, whatever it is. Yeah, because he's, 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 I want to ask you this question. Yeah. Because I didn't. Did mm-hmm. you ever see dad self care? I always seen dad mm-hmm. taking care of other nope. people. Nope. Mm-hmm. I did. Exactly. And I think that's why we're learning it now. Mm hmm. That's real. Like, not to jump too far ahead, but motivation yeah, no. that for us because yeah, we, it's part of us taking care of each other. Um, vacations, um, yeah, spa days, yeah. Dad never did that, dude. Mm-hmm. My dad, like for real, his neck was probably tight as I don't know what <laughs> with the time that he was ready to go. Because it's like I'm telling you, yeah, I've never mm-hmm. seen my dad go get a massage, mm-hmm. dude. But, you know, yeah, the masculinity and all that. So. It's yeah. interesting that you said that. You ever seen that either? No, that's the thing too. But what you? No, I you haven't ever seen a black man take care of himself. No, nah. in the in the in the way that we no. self care, like no. yoga or and you or, know you know what I'm saying, spa day or sauna, but like nothing. I Wally think he was the first black man above oh. fifty that I seen actually. Like, yeah, that, 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 to do a spa like like mm. I mean not spa, but he 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 took us in the sauna mm. after working out at Gold's mm. gym. He was like, no, this is what you do, son. You come in here, yeah. And you get the impurities out you. Yeah, you know I mean? he's super masculine there. And I was like, oh, this is the first masculine man mm-hmm. 
that's actually doing self care, like in that way. I've never, I never I th- saw it before. I think part of that too, with you know, say maybe the men that that we grew up around that raised us is, I think that's just that was their, I guess maybe sort of like an ignorance too. Yeah, they didn't know. Yeah, you know, course, you, you didn't know, so it's kind of mm-hmm. like. They weren't missing it. Thought, let me so, tell you something. I don't know. The last mm-hmm. place you would have found my dad yeah. is with a towel around his head and two cucumbers on his face. Yeah. It's, it's just not happening. I you mean, know, it, you know, a little, little, two, little towel wrapped <laughs> around him talking about, we, I'm having a spa day. They were wired. They were wired, they they wired different. Soft um, stuff yeah, up right. out of my face. A massage. <laughs> a, massa- a massage. Wired way my different. My woman going to massage me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think if anything, is self-care was watching the game on Sunday. That's what it you was. And that's sit down. self-care, but that was there. That's yeah. right. They thought self care. Yeah, it was like let me, you know, chill yeah. out. Let me not do or that. church. Yeah, you know, yep. it's so, like no, yeah. no, no. We have to actually do things. Yeah, something mm-hmm. to just reset, re- just yeah. just sit. <laughs> Shout out to my wife. She got me on that self care though. Oh man, she probably got you right, man. Let me tell you something, boy. <laughs> The, the spas you walking to the look, bro. I know you mean. She, bro, she, I, she got, she gave me the, uh, the what is the clear cuticles, the uh, pedicure, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. They massage and they put the uh, that 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 didn't um get the wax. I didn't, I didn't want that. Okay. But her sister gets the wax <laughs> and everything. They take hot wax and they do put, put it on, you know, yeah, yeah, feet and everything. Mm. And they take these like hot rocks and they massage yep, the leg yep, and yep, the calf yep. with the rock. My my my. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't had, I ain't been to. Uh, Get one in a minute, but but I yeah, no, not. yeah, yeah. Ain't I forgot what's the spot. Let me tell you something. You can still be a man's man. You can still oh, go to the spot. Like, shoot, yeah, it's for healthy, sure. bro. Yeah, I, I yeah. have no no feelings. So you say like, you guys are way too tough. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. You know Sit saying? down, relax. Yeah, yeah. You know, get 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 some self care. That's that's yeah. real. Yeah, that's that's. Real. I just had that's to ask good, you though. that because it's. Um, I think that's oh, something yeah. that's. Um, I think somebody's thinking right now. Like, you know what? I never see my parents yeah. self care. You know what I'm saying? My mm-hmm. mom either. My I was gonna mom, say, yeah. My mom, um, you know, she watches, she listens to the podcast. So I can't. Uh-huh. She gonna get. She gonna call me <laughs> and you know, get on me if edit, I say something wrong. Edit that but out. I, but no, it's, it's just the facts. I never really seen too much, um, you know, going to the spa in the in the way that we thought that was bougie. Mm-hmm. Now my mom definitely got her nails done and all that stuff. Like she did, right. she did that. I'm just saying, like, yep. the spa yeah. experience that. You know, me and my wife do now. Yeah. I've never That's really seen my parents do on that like that. They were just grinding, you know. No, nah, man, but I like what you said there, though. Like, you know, when you think about your pops or think think about, you know, yeah. these men that we, we grew up around and raised us, yeah. I can say the same thing. Like, my pops, I can't, I don't think I've really seen him, not that he was, like, arrogant or cocky or anything like that, but, like, ask a question. It seemed like mm-hmm. he knew how to do mm-hmm. everything. Like, how did he? Mm-hmm. He had, I, mean, I, I got, you know, he passed away a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and, you know, I got some of his old tools. I'm like, how does mm-hmm. he have, what What made him get that, you know, just thinking about where, mm-hmm. you know, just, you know, say even from, you know, where, when we lived in New York, like, why, what made him get this to repair whatever he might have repaired? Like, it's like, hey, like he was, he was, uh, he was on it. But yeah, it's like, it's real. Like, I never, I can't say that I ever really seen him ask a question. Not to say he knew everything, but. As far as from my what I seen, I mean, he was running a crew. Um, you know, uh, he he did uh, he did a lot of, like moving, um, like library relocations. That's actually one of the first times I came down here. Was uh, um, we did a a job in Virginia State University, and he was like he was he was running the whole project, um, and that's that's you know his role. He was the foreman, I guess I'd say, mm-hmm. project coordinator, however you want to put it. Um, but like. It was just boom, boom, boom. He knew how to, you know, everything was like, I got it. You know, I, I, don't, I can't think that I ever seen him really like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> kind of thing. It was like, yeah. And I don't think he was ever always in his comfort zone with mm-hmm. things. It's just mm-hmm. he knew how to figure it out. And Interesting. But yeah. Yeah, the only I, I thing, like, that. I saw my dad really, like, when it came to, like, trying to figure something out, it, like, when it came to the cars, it was like, let me go to, like, Advanced Auto or whatever. Let me pick yeah. up the manual. And yeah, there's no problem talking to the man behind the counter. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. he'll ask mm-hmm. him questions. Yeah, he ain't finna ask the <laughs> wife. <laughs> ain't finna ask him. Yeah, yep. that's yep. good point. Good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good, man. That's good. So now here we are in the teenage years. Why did you get into Marjor, man? Why did you? I knew I did because it was a drumline movie. What's going on? <laughs> That's the, the, the only reason why I got into Marching Man. I was like, oh, I'm getting to college doing this? Do the do Marching Man? 
I play. I can play drums. It's cool. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Nick Cannon. He did. Yeah, he messed us up. Yeah, he <laughs> me did. and B's like, yeah, we about to go drum, and then we going to college. We going to drum. You know. <laughs> yeah, I honestly don't know if my mother just like put it, like put me in band in middle school, and it was just mm. like, because I mean, my sister she played a saxophone growing up. Justin was dope, yo. And it was He's not like, gonna say it. He was dope. He ain't gonna say it. Yeah, that. I forget. Just I even played dope. like music. That's crazy. Yeah. What What was you playing? What? No, I was playing drums too. You was on um, drums. Too. Okay. So but can I, you truly say? that music is really good for your cognitive development in some way. Oh, for sure. Mm. I keep telling for people. For sure. We was talking about this You're uh, not offline. a musician today. Mm-hmm. I think once a musician, always a musician. But because you can hear, mm-hmm. you still can respect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you're still a musician. But it's like it has developed you, the, the art of being in the marching man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That experience, bro. It's nothing like That's it. what we were saying. We was, I think it was maybe before Power Session or something. We were talking about, like, yo, bro. get your kids into music or something, you know, like that. That was, that was yeah, real. Yeah, it's, it's like not only creative building. It's like mm. it gives you that sense, like. Team. Yeah, team. Mm. I was going to say it's a sport without being a sport. I like that. And it's just like Facts. I like that the way it, they had us doing push-ups and then the high yeah, 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 it was yeah, a sport. Yeah. For them, yeah, I was gonna say y'all, the football y'all team, doing that you know, over there. You hear them doing push-ups and running. Wow, we so y'all was right with it. Yeah. We still laps, bro. Facts. Yeah, but y'all was out there with them too, right? Like I mean, like during you the games. Hear them. Mm-hmm. No, no, the games, yes, but you but can not, hear them practicing. Yeah, they would be at the football field. We'd be in the other parking lot, which was a driver's ed parking lot. Mm. The man owned that joint because <laughs> the woman driving there going on in the summer. Right, so you had so this game, we was out there in the hot sun. Uh-huh. People would walk around. Um, to some of the leaders, mm-hmm. they would have a, a bottle of water, uh, a spray can full of water, mm-hmm. like um, like a Windex, empty Windex joint. And so you be at attention. <laughs> balls of sweat coming down your face, and I was like, and somebody's walk over, psh, psh, spray you. <laughs> Let me tell you, that joint felt like a shower. Wow. When you in the heat, like, do you remember those days, bro? I remember. <sighs> Yeah, because out on that asphalt, it was just hot. Bro, it was say, hot. Jeez. But you down for the cause. <laughs> we were like Spartans. <laughs> yeah. Were yeah. we serious, yeah. bro? Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, coming out of middle school, it was like, all right, Justin's the, the I don't even want to say leader of, like, that, you know, hmm. that grade coming out, mm-hmm. that next section coming out, where it was like, all right, I knew, I knew how to read. I knew how to, like, play, uh, which... So Which you did it in middle school, right? Because you know mm-hmm. how to read. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you did it in sixth grade, in seventh yeah. grade, eighth grade. Yeah, I, I did went too. to. A, so why did you do that, or did Mama put you in? No, nah, at that point, yeah, Mama had put me in that thing, and I was we were just doing it. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then we started blossoming, and then it was like, all right, it was, I'm all right with it. I'm all mm. right with it. So my first year, were you were in the band the year before that? I didn't start, so I didn't go to. I didn't. That was my first year mm-hmm. in 2010. I know, I know, I'm, that's no, what I'm no, trying no. to say. Eleventh no, grade, I was like tenth grade. grade. Okay. My, le- I didn't start going to the band to my eleventh grade year because Drumline oh, came okay. out around what 2003, 2004, somewhere around that time. That was when Drumline came out. I think, yeah, I, I want to say I was in eighth grade because I remember it was like <laughs> some some little snare drum battle I did with <laughs> somebody, and I did a move off the thing where it was some simple, and it was. Some, I look went off. Right? Yeah, it went oh, it was off. nice, was, nice. Okay, I was okay. studying the movie like it won't nothing. Everybody did, bro. I'm trying mm-hmm. to tell you. Okay, if, if you were in anybody's marching man, yeah, you mm-hmm. better had just yeah. obsessed with that movie. You knew every line <laughs> from the movie, <laughs> Fact. bro. Mister Miles no. in my office, like you knew every <laughs> line. You yeah, know what I was saying? killing it. I ain't no crab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, bro, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I, I just remember like. When they brought us over, we were still in middle school, but it was like, whatever day you like, this is going to be what you know high school is. And then that day for the marching band, it was like we saw the drumline battle somebody, and I was like, mm. yeah, that's it. That's mm. it. So were you were you in what grade were you in the year that I, me and Beans Shoot. was on snare, mm-hmm. um, Shadon was and and Shadon and Beans was on snare, my first year. I was on first base, Laron was on second base, third base was. Okay, that might have been the year before me then. So you came my second year when I was a senior. You was a freshman? I know I came, and they tried to put me on second base. You was a freshman? Yeah, they tried to put mm. me on second. I didn't know what was going on. I thought you was on there both years. I don't know. But, I, yeah, they put me in, I was like, I don't know. And then Aaron, 
he had challenged me for that spot, and I was like, "Yep, that's that's all you." I still don't know what's going on. Mm. Oh, bro, the challenge is real. Mm-hmm. Mm. If you think that you can take that spot, you all you got to do is mm-hmm. tell the band, the drum instructor, "I want a challenge for the spot," and you have to play. What do we have to do? It was either some cadence or something. I think it was just. A, it might have been just a cadence. It might be a cadence, or it might be a rudiment, and mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. a, almost like a battle. You're looking for who can do it the cleanest. And all wow. That stuff. You might be flipping your sticks, or whatever, and all that. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, we used to challenge each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I. The reason why I was no, nobody ever challenged me on, and I'm not, that's not trying to make myself sound sweet, mm. but I was a snare drummer. We needed a first drum. First, the cat that's on first drum mm. is the smallest one, right? The smallest one is maybe about this big. Okay. Bass drum, yeah. yeah it's a bass drum, right? First drummer, um, or fifth drummer, whatever you want to say it, mm. um, is somebody that just didn't make the snares. Okay. It's kind of like that. Okay. So I'm talking about so the stuff that I was doing was very like, like let's say if a drum roll started, um, and you know some of our cadences there was room for improvising. Mm-hmm. They would let us do that. So it would be like, we like, to the doom, to doom, to doom. That's the rhythm, right? To the doom, to doom, to doom. To doom, to doom, to doom. Right. So I could go. I throw some razzle dazzle, so it was like I could do that because I was a snare drummer, <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I was doing, you remember? Mm-hmm. Jeez. Yeah. So, so nobody ever challenged my spot. I think it's because it was just like I don't hmm. know. I don't know. I don't know. But I know. Right. I know. I don't think Laurent even wanted to be first base. And oh, if you were first base, you also had to start off all the dance moves. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I was about to say like, you what's, what's to, the significance yeah, yeah, of it? You know me, yeah, over no, the top, I dramatic. Yeah. So I'm like. I'm body rolling and yeah, and nice. I think at that time too, I think a lot of people was complacent because like everyone was yep. so good at everything. It was like, yep, you just want to spot. So I mean, y'all was like, you know, competitions, winning competitions. What's the what was our, our what's the status? Line, only the drum line. Drum line. line okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Our our band was absolutely horrible. Wow. My, my 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 year. Yeah. They were absolutely horrible. Wow. Um, my second year when Justin came. We started winning. Uh-huh. Hmm. I don't think it was, was it ever, was it ever first place because Rosecki came in. Yeah, that was mm. when it was like Mr. Marshall was there the first year before you got there, mm. and allegedly, uh, he just never came back after yeah. our first year. They said he disappeared. All of a sudden, this new band director came in. Um, wow, he came in. And they said that he ran off with the fundraiser money. Oh. If you're watching Mr. Marshall, that's what they told us. Sorry. <laughs> um, that's, that, yeah, you didn't know that? I didn't know nothing. I was, he was gone. He was gone. Just thought he no, was out. They, they said, they said he, he was gone and he took the fundraiser money. Oh, wow. Still from wow. the kids, bro. How that's you wild. sleep at night still from the kids? Bro? <laughs> Look, people do it. I hope that's it ain't true. I hope it ain't true. It ain't true. It ain't true. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. give his first name, so. Yeah. Like yeah. Marshall. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> So so, uh, yeah. So we it was it was serious. Um, do you remember that drum battle, Nicole? You was part of that, right? When we, we had the done. drum battle, we did drum battle. We, we yeah, we was doing some stuff. We we, we drum battled. Um, I don't know who it was. I just know we did. We did. We actually did the drum battles. Mm. And um, mm. we did. We started. Uh, we got so good that we got invited to do the um, the the pep rallies. Mm. And remember we took Ira yeah, and put him up yeah, on, yeah. The, on the head on the Yeah, we shoulders. really thought we was in the movies back no, then. No, for real, bro. We took Ira Yo. got on top of another uh the, 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 um, mm-hmm. simple crashers. Yeah. He was on top of his shoulders and we lifted him up. It's all part of the day. I was about to say all y'all, of y'all, us would come okay. up with our own choreography. Jeez. We came on, but lifting him up on the shoulders, we got that from drumline. But when he <laughs> did it, the whole crowd went Bananas! I'm talking about they wow. lost their mind, and Ira had to meet. He he was a perfect one to do it because mm. he was somebody that was a, he was a wrestler. Okay, so he looked like no band geek or whatever. I got you. Know you. What he I looked got like you. a nerd and I like that. Yeah. He looked like he might whoop you. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> when they put him up on the show, he was like this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he was spinning his crazy. You know, and it, oh, it, wow. it was crazy, bro. Yeah. And then Raekwon would come out wearing a dress, and um, yeah. <laughs> I remember him talking about that. Yeah, Rayquan. he was talking Ray, about that. Raekwon came out wearing a uh, a cheerleader's outfit, and he was like, um, "Yo, 
I don't remember that. <laughs> I was like, remember I remember, that? but I don't. Oh, no, they def- y'all definitely talked about her. That's that's you me. erased it from your memory. <laughs> I'm we say, didn't want to see it. it. But let me tell you say. something. He was, and, and, you know, I know we got Cat Williams to kind of mess that up for everybody, <laughs> yeah. putting on dresses, but Raekwon did it for sh- sh- just pure just, comedy. Just so when food, I tell uh-huh. you, it was one of the funniest. Oh, is that Raekwon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raekwon, I was thinking about the other bro. one. I was thinking about the other one. Raekwon Johnson. Shout yeah, out to yeah, Raekwon Johnson. Yeah. We can post this. Raekwon, <laughs> yeah. we will never forget. Shout out to everyone. That Where are you now? Where Man, are you? he came That's out crazy. wearing the chili outfit, remember? And it was in the middle of the pep rally. Everybody, Raekwon was famous from that day. I was going to say, y'all, yeah. y'all was having some fun. I, do you remember the day Raekwon Johnson comes into class and, um, he had took some baby powder and put it around his nose like Dave Chappelle <laughs> and was acting like a crackhead. Oh, oh and man! The band director was so pissed off. He's 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 doing comedy now, right? Like that's he's, that's his. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I yeah. know he's still. I remember. Going. Yeah, I know mm-hmm. you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. I know I've met him through. Uh, yeah. I think he was on a power session. Or and I spoke something. to Ariel. She said, oh, "I'm watching the show. I never heard Justin talk." I said, "I got him to talk. <laughs> he's talking, yo. I've been talking." talking. You've been talking. You just got to. You might be this. Not on no public listen. platform. That's like, no, that's what she means. She means publicly. Yeah, nah, oh, nah. Yeah, yeah. This is dope, bro. It's yeah, dope. It's refreshing nah. for me to see you in this light, man. I yeah. like it. I was going to say, yeah, yeah y'all go back, it. man. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. Sure. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know this part of justice. Right. This is right. new to me. Y'all yeah, yes. go back. And so that's it, like. You know what? That's an encouraging thing. How many times do we go to the barbershop with mm. fellow brothers? And talk about LeBron, and talk about uh-huh. other people's stats, and we don't talk about our own stats. Uh-huh. Mm. You know what I mean? Other than who we messed nah. with in the past, that that's, uh, not, that's not the stats I'm talking about. Right, right. Growing, um, dealing with topics, you know, sexual topics, ED mm-hmm. stuff that that men go through right. at a certain age. You know what I'm saying? I'm not uh-huh. tapping right. because you're going through. It. <laughs> I'm, like, uh, I'm an advocate point, for this. But, no, but no, because nobody. Yeah. That's real though. Men, I'm telling y'all, women, if you watch, you know, men, we go, we we, we will talk about games all day and football yeah. and all that. Break but down we will all not the stats. Talk about um, uh, hot flashes or menopause or oh that 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 doesn't get talked about nah. ever nah. ever. Uh-huh. And so, like yeah. I said, I'm getting to know my brother through this podcast, and I'm glad we're doing it. Yeah, man, yeah, man this is dope. That's good, man. That's good. This is dope. So, man, okay, so Drumline, y'all was killing it, and, you know, you gave us a bit of, you know, your your pursuit into, you know, your college career, uh, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. landscape organizing. I can, I, I'll be honest, seeing you pursue that, I know you didn't, you know, go mm-hmm. and, and finish out that, you know, you went into the, the direction that you're in now, but I can see that kind of being, you know, something that you had a passion for, or actually had an interest in, because, you know, like videos we've seen of like how you're actually in there creating, you know, yeah. JC desserts. It's uh-huh. like you see the architect in it. You know, yes, I'm not making Definitely light of you being a pastry chef. Oh, you know, uh, you're an uh, artist in that. Yeah. You're great at what you Absolutely. do, but you see the the architecture in how you, you know, whatever type of dessert you're putting out there. It's like it's it's more, you, you you place things a certain way. You've made cakes for me. I'm like, how did he? Uh-huh. How did he even think to do that like that? Like it looks. Perfect, you know, best best way he I could did. put it. Um, Angie, sister, my sister in law. Yeah, her graduation cake. And, and he made the graduation oh, yeah, cake look like a yeah. stack of books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a that's that's the scope. That's the the scope, and it it um was draped across the cake, and that was made of fondant. Yeah. Yeah, he had he made a cake not like that for me, but it was like I think it had like uh-huh. you know things related to me, like had like uh-huh. my glasses on it and everything. You know, uh-huh. that's, this is stuff uh-huh. that's you know. Oh, wasn't I there? That was you the, was there? Yeah, that was the. Um, that was, yeah, um, yeah, that's yeah, when yeah, you yeah. announced that you um you was pregnant again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like Franklin stroking. Go. Yep, stroking. Show always PG thirteen. My bad. Show show always on. You gonna make me uncle out there? You make me uncle over there? Because another double time on it. Show is crazy, man. But no, that's like. I I do uh, hearing that, you know, because, you know, y'all go way back. But, you know, I don't know you as long as y'all have known each other. So hearing that is like, man, I'm seeing more of the the story coming together. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, Mm -hmm. you know, we we talked about that. And, you know, where we're at now, you know, not to skip too far ahead or anything like that. But, you know, J.C. Desserts, like what, how did that 
come. So, so, you, so you're coming out yeah. of, you came out of college, mm-hmm. and then Boom. did did you, J.C. Desserts was already in existence when you came into Motivation Central. Yep. Right? Yep. Somewhat. It was more like a, something I was doing from home. So it was like. Wow. You had, yeah, yeah. You when definitely I had that out there. It's going to get a little messy because I was always, like, moving from back and forth from between different cities. So it was like, Yeah, because mm-hmm. you wasn't in Richmond. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. were just on some Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think. I didn't yeah. realize you was here. I thought you was here. I didn't. When he first came in the group? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's yeah. all jumbled up. Um, so, wait, what was the question? Where were we going? Basically, dude, we're, we're fast forward until you, you, you came out of school and you were... Now mm-hmm. you were about to do JC desserts, but right before. Well, actually, I didn't. Well, that was a little bit. Further. You were working okay. somewhere. Yeah, so I was in between, like, whether it was jobs, like jobs, different jobs. Well, no, not necessarily in between, because some people hear that and be like, "Oh, you didn't have jobs." Oh, he was broke. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, 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 I was in between, you like financial transition. <laughs> that's a, I was in that's between a good different one. establishments. <laughs> so if I was working at a at a. Um, whether if I was working at a, like a hotel or like a golf resort yeah. or a golf course, yeah. um, something like that, where it was like mm. I was always in a different like city. So I was gotcha. between like Charlotte, North Carolina, West Virginia, mm-hmm. South Florida. I remember you talking. I was like about bouncing that. around, which I mean is actually like I hate saying that for myself a little bit, but at the same time, like that's just part of the the job. A lot, oh, of, people, yeah, a lot of people yeah. do it. That's real. Um, it's one of those jobs where it's easy to pick up and leave. Mm. Um, and then everyone's always like looking to. You know, getting the next step of their the phase of their um, career. Right. So it's like, right. just like the army or navy, whatever. You have a hierarchy, um, or any job really, to mm. where to get to, you know, chef position. Right. Right. And it really only comes with um, politics as usual. Oh, yeah. Yes, it do. Yes, it <laughs> do. Uh, which is, which which is actually part of you know what led to J C desserts like officially. Mm. Where it was just like life. Yeah. Because, I mean... You got lifed into J.C. Desserts. Um, <laughs> I can see and that. It, 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 and it didn't matter where I was. It was like I was always that one... Either I was either the only black person or the only black male. Yeah, talk about like, it. Because, I mean, when you think about it, it's, or even you look on the TV shows where it's like you see one either race of people or it's like mm-hmm. yeah. you get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And it's exactly that That's way not a secret. You. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like I got tired of it. Like mm. eventually you, you get tired of because it's even within that spectrum is like there's politics within that. Yeah. So a lot of times it's like I felt alone where there was like it didn't matter what city. It was like, man, I ain't got nobody to like mm. confide in about anything. Mm. If it ain't my girl, it's like, dang, it's like I ain't got nobody. Right, right. So it's like, yeah, you'll have a good friend here and there, but at the same time it's like you know at the end of the day it's like they don't understand Right. Where are you coming from? Right. That's so real. It was like, yeah, eventually it was like, yeah, COVID came. You know, everyone was like out of work. Um, hmm. I don't know how long. It was like a couple months at least. And then during that time, it was where I really like put down my foot. I was like, hey, this is JC Desserts. We're going to really put the plan in place. That way, once we get back, um, yeah, it's pretty much like let's make the plans to move. And then <laughs> JC Desserts. So, so you know, we now this is where me and Frankly get mm-hmm. to pub up our chest, bro. I was this about to where, say we, we, it's time to talk about motivation, central deal. <laughs> Not for real, because for real, bro, you are one of the testimonies that shows that what we do works, and so yeah. we're proud of that. So, dude, the timing um, was crazy. I re- let, let's go back to you changing the game, and I don't know who said it. I just mm-hmm. know it was just like. Like logo time, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, yeah, I don't I, know how that came about. I don't remember how it went. If I, you do, cool. I'll go even a little bit before that. It was like um, and tell him about how you went about choosing it because it was very. He was very yeah. He sent out. There was no ego in how he chose the logo. That's real. But you got to tell it, bro. Yeah. So like even before moving back to Richmond, it was like all right. I got the well, yeah. I w- had went out to West Virginia the second time. And I was like, all right, there's something I'm missing, like sk- in my skill set. Where it's like, I want to be a chef. I want to be the boss. I want to be all these things. Where it's like, mm. I needed an extra something that I didn't have. Mm. And once I got that, it was like, all right, boom. Uh, you know, COVID happened, all that stuff 
few things lined up where it was like COVID happened before the logo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got PTSD from um, COVID. I yeah. No, because no. it is really distorted. That's why I was saying the timing is crazy because yeah. it's like yeah, because I feels was going like JC desserts had from home desserts yep. forever. No, I think that was like 2018 where I was like I was doing it from home, and what? then like I had a logo, mm-hmm. but it wasn't this at all. Yep. Um, yep. It wasn't until like after I got back, where you know, did anybody just, in particular say something? I don't know if, who said something about. Did you? Did you just all of a sudden say I need a better one? Or yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what happened? I, what happened? Can you can you remember the day? Can you remember what happened? No, nah, it was really like eh, there's an entrepreneur that need to know this. Yeah, it was like yeah, is is being really being aware of like there's going to be levels to it I to like where it. it's like. This is whack. This is, yeah. It's, this is, yeah. <laughs> That's what I do to myself. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm like, this yeah. ain't next level. At a certain point, That's it's like, real. yeah, there's like, this is far as I can take it. And like now, if it's if it's something like that, that's where like you hire someone else to do whatever. You you can hire somebody to make a logo now. Right, right. Mm-hmm. But at that point where it was like, you're doing it all by yourself, it's like, I know at that point in time that I made that logo, mm-hmm. that was the best I did, and that's what I like. Um, and then it was like, but at the same time, I knew it was like, I was going to grow with what I liked. And so from there, it was just like I got to that point where I was like, all right, this is a, a new rebirth of JC Desserts. This is like yeah. we're getting serious. Um, so, like, yeah, I just sat, I had the time. I sat down with it. You, you were coming to the calls every week. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Every so, week. like, yeah. You was dead serious. Before about it. I came. And I believe you, what, did I assign you a book yet? Oh, I hadn't. That wasn't before I did. No, that. no, no, no. We, because I don't think you assigned a book until I got here. Yeah, yeah okay. I officially got here. Because like even then, <laughs> where I was like, all right, I wanna, I want to focus on JC desserts. It was like, I knew I had the juice, skill set wise. Where I was like, all right, I know there's something else that's gonna like, I need to take me to the next level. And and I press on certain people, but as Franklin, I don't press on everybody. Yep. But but Justin, I have pressed on. Yeah, yeah. That's and what I'm I saying, said, man. bro, you need to read this book or you need coaching. Yeah, like one on one with me. I know yep. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, trust me. But there's few people I do that to. Yeah, yeah. It's just I, I just yeah, can't it, take it. I yeah, can't take it was looking little, at your next level any longer. That's why I said that's the, just how I'm the wired, timing bro. was crazy. Yeah, yeah. and like it was like a gap to where like I was still there, but I wasn't here. So it was like. I, kn- I already knew what you were saying. I so know. it was like, and I, and I agree with it. <laughs> yeah. But it was yep. like, once I get there, here, it was going to be on. Mm. And that's exactly Everybody, what it was. This is before the Chrome Nut, y'all. He wasn't a six figure yeah. owner yet. Yeah, he wasn't even so, on that yet. Uh, that's another thing. Dang. Uh, if if you, you are listening, never let money, never let whatever get in the way. Um, mm-hmm. um, I remember uh, talking to a coach, and, and he was like, bruh. I coach you for seventy five dollars a month. I was like, wow. Mm. That's how much he knew that he I was gonna make him proud. So he wasn't even on no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's never, it's never. Just don't, don't assume somebody's gonna say no. Let them say no. If you really want to get into a relationship with somebody, uh, that's good. You know what I'm that's good. That's relationship, uh, you know, platonic or not. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's a coach or a professional relationship, I just believe in letting, making them say no. No. That's good. And so I rather like for real. We're gonna bring Kelly on uh, soon, and we're gonna talk about the spot, mm-hmm. how I got into the spot when mm-hmm. I had no studio to go into. That's good. I literally just walked in there with Shati. It was like, "Yo, you got a room?" Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Sure." Mm. Bro, we didn't know him from Adam. We literally walked in there on faith and was like, <laughs> can, "Can we can we use your room for free?" Of course, we didn't say it just like that. We had light right. conversation, mm-hmm. but. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Let people say no, y'all. When you get something and you know something's good for you, hold on to it. Go ahead, bro. Keep going. Keep on going. Yeah. Where were we at? Another reason why he's on the podcast. Because so it, with with that being said, there's an exchange of energy. And I'm looking at his path and I'm looking at his trajectory. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. You need to come in a little closer. Into the inner inner circle, yep. because we need each other to lean on. Right. This 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 show is a way for us to lean on each other even more and be closer. Yep. Because mm-hmm. it's tough when family man and you know what I'm saying like 
Mm-hmm. And now he he on that path. Like, yep. you know, we don't know how soon, but but we just know he on a serious in a serious relationship. I'm married, Franklin married, we, you know, and it, 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 yeah. the family aspect. So it's just like, hmm, what? Mm-hmm. How can we strengthen the? Yeah, and show you all what it looks like, because Timon is very much part of this too. Timon is very, very much in the athletic world, so strong right now. But when, whenever Timon gets a slow moment, he's calling us. He's on the calls. He, we, we do have a brotherhood. Yeah, we do. We seriously have a brotherhood yeah. and a sisterhood too. But it's just like, yeah, you can't yeah. do so much with women. When, yeah, when yeah. You're married and you know true, what I'm saying? true. True. So yes. Yeah, so yeah. You know. Like as you like say that, I'm thinking just like, as you really stop wanting to be mediocre, you start shedding a lot of stuff. People, friends, all that good stuff. Separation like, before elevation. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You start. Yeah, and you got to be okay with it. You got to realize that's what's gonna come with it. Yeah. If you're serious enough, you should be mm-hmm. like you. You welcome it. And that's, mm-hmm. but, see, but you know, a lot of people are afraid of that before thirties. Yeah. In your thirties, I feel like that's when mm-hmm. you start shit, uh, shedding the fat. You mm-hmm. know, trimming the fat. That's exactly what it is. And I'll say too, like, you know, when Justin came to the group, I, he was at that point of absolutely. He knew, and he. I mean, that's what you're saying. But I see it, seeing it, and hearing it in his. You know. And you what age now? I'm 33. That was. Sure. When that happened, that was... For him to figure that out. Wow. Really yeah. Yeah. So you was barely 30. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, that, that's that's downright luck. That's I mean, for real. No, I'm bro, telling a you. A lot of people do not uh-huh. figure it out that early. And when that, I realize how blessed I am... No, I'm passing right no, you're back No, you good. You good. But, but I just... To fall in love with music at nine, bro. Yeah, I'm literally looking at my hands like, God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> because had I quit, uh-huh. bro... Yeah, for real. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Go ahead. Bro. No, but that's wow. that's that's like that was apparent, and that's why you jumped on that. Like, yo, you need you need coaching, not even uh you know any type of sales pitch or anything like that. It's like for where you're going, yeah. you need coaching. Mm-hmm. And Justin was at the place. Like I'm saying, he was he was already locked into that place. Like, yeah, you're right. I know that. Uh, let's do it. You know, wh- whatever the next steps are. Mm-hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. where you was at though, uh, you know, just in this conversation, we were talking about the logo and mm-hmm. and how you got to that place of, you know, it's time to level up, level up. Like mm-hmm. this, you know, what was that? What was that? Something that you just and then tell them what you did with the group. Cause I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we have to tell because people Share don't that. do that. No, that they they drink that a beer one. on Friday night with their buddies <laughs> mm-hmm. and say. I this look is at it. this logo I came yeah. with. Yeah, this that's dope. All yeah. y'all drunk. What are you talking about? <laughs> mm-hmm. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, yeah. yeah it was man. like, and I do it with a lot of my stuff. It was where it's like, I know there's a phase of like, all right, there's a inception phase where it's like, I'm just thinking of it. And then there's like a phase of let me work on this. And then, then there's like a part where I think a lot of people would get mixed up or really get them slowed down in the whole process where it's like, all right, I need a new fresh set of eyes on like what's is this good or is it bad or is it like what's the next step to make it better and people stop Mm -hmm. at step two yeah Yeah. so do that again step one was what inception in your head yep number two is what putting it on paper yeah that's what i was about to say putting Mm -hmm. it on paper Mm -hmm. figuring out you know the direction the outline the format whatever it is Mm -hmm. how you want to put it down and then they're working on it step three is not falling in love with it step Mm -hmm. three is what (laughs) <laughs> I gotta say this. Nah, yeah, people nah. fall in love with their own. Yeah, like that's you it. gotta be able to get critiques, and that's that's a lot of what you know working in the kitchen is. It's like hmm. on that end of where like a lot of people see like uh, Gordon Ramsay, where he's you know grilling people and all this. Stuff. It's yeah, some of it is for like the show of the TV, but at the same time, like you gotta be able to take that. Hmm. If you really trying to get to like the next level of what they are doing. And not even what they're doing, because a lot of, like, the good chefs aren't on TV. You're not going to see them on TV. Ooh. 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 Yeah, wow. you're going to – those chefs you're going to see in New York. You're going to see them in that. L.A. Yeah. You're going to see them in Miami. I you're believe gonna, that, yeah. Why is the, the, the ticket so high? Why no, is the price right. so high? I know you're right. Mm-hmm. That's exactly where There's you're going to see There's some guy you right. never heard of, and he's in Miami killing it. Killing right? it. Mm-hmm. Yep. And mm-hmm. ain't no TV involved. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So, Matter of um, fact, the chefs at Fat Dragon be killing it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Them guys be Boy, busy. Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling the, you. Um, at, at Fat Dragon, they, they, that's why they're open at the times they're open because the chefs be leaving and going to other spots and bouncing mm-hmm. around the city. Wow. Mm-hmm. Didn't know that. They're sought after. Nice. Yeah. 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 Some of them guys, that I'm, right here in Richmond, yeah. these guys have um, have uh, chefed all around the world. Wow. Yeah. They're like, yeah, I was in Italy for six months, and then I was in. Well, yeah, they killing you it. lit like that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> they mm-hmm. killing it. Yeah. 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 So. So then you 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 know got to that point and then you put it out to oh yeah 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 so yeah um and that, and that goes hand in hand with like being able to be critiqued like where I was I felt fully comfortable bringing it to the group the coaching yeah. group to where because it's, like, it's a safe place go ahead tell them that's yeah, what we say it's a safe yeah. place yeah and, yeah. We we take pride in our, our space man we I loved Monday Bay Central right? yeah mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Yeah, and you got to be able to want like that critique because even if it was like people I would work with in the kitchen, um, and you it, gave us options. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because it's just, that's where you. It's I'm not in love with it. Whereas like I know there's going to be something someone else is going to catch. Yeah. I know if I decorate uh, my apartment, it's going to look one way. But if I have a woman's touch to it. Talk it's gonna about, be. Whew, talk mm-hmm. about. It's gonna be mm-hmm. exactly what I want it to be. Mm. That's so good. It's like, I, I literally remember you sending it or you, or, or sharing screening or something, mm-hmm. and we was all looking at. Oh no, you he texted. No, it us. wasn't. Oh. He texted to us. Yeah, That's what yeah, he yeah, did. yeah. He texted to us, yep. and then I remember. Yeah, I think you put it on the screen during a call. Yeah, and then we was looking. Yeah, that might have been because I remember. Mm. I remember, and I remember Jasmine. Jasmine Lotto, shout out to Jasmine Lotto. She mm-hmm. she fell in love with that one. Yeah. And then we were just all Debrion was she liked it too. It mm-hmm. was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. We was like, yo, um, that's the one. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then yep. it was a matter of colors after that. And the yep. calligraphy, he had different ones like Yep. Man. Yeah, that's a it's down amazing. A long time. <laughs> yeah, sure was doing, sure was doing, man. Yeah. yeah man. This night, we gonna this, put it on the screen. I edited it. Yeah, yeah, I forget yeah. where I saw it, but it really even this is like the uh, this is like a secondary logo. Yeah. Um, so you have like four different logos. Yeah. Um, you would want to use like your full logo where it's going to be plastered everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then from there is like whether you're going to put it on a T-shirt because, of course, some stuff don't, doesn't show up easy. Right. Yep. Um, right. Right. You like have to little, have different ones. Yeah. A little photo ones. tag. Um, in, if you're IG mm-hmm. or whatever profile photo, yeah. mm-hmm. um, that's going to be like your symbol, which for me is like the little top hat. Well, not yeah. top hat, but that's a cake, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. it's a cake. Yeah, yeah I kinda, thought it was a cake. Yeah, yeah. It, it gives you. It yeah, it gives you the too. top hat. Look. That's the classy side. That yeah. top has that classy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, just you know, being able to yeah really come in and like what's good, what's bad, and be okay with it. Mm. So it's like uh-huh. all right. So here we go. You oh. get an email. The email <laughs> of all emails. Ah. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what happened? I don't want to make it feel that easy because it, it for sure won't. Oh, all right, <laughs> right, right, right. Sure So, no, like, yeah, when I graduated um, culinary school 2014, yeah. I think within the next year or so, um, which I don't know how, but that's how they find you. It's weird. Mm. Um, they know what field you're in, as soon as you, like, start posting photos and stuff like that, mm-hmm. um, you'll get somebody uh, looking at your, what what, they, what do they call it? Um, a casting producer. Casting mm. producer. So, so who's connected to school? No. Nah. No. Nah, when I say it's weird, it's weird. <laughs> so, like, I would just be posting photos just like normal, yeah. whether I'm school stuff, work stuff, whatever. Um, On post, your Instagram? Mm-hmm. So Instagram, you Facebook. Instagram? The or first one found Facebook. me through Facebook. Okay. Um, but they friend you just like you a normal person. Right. They'll be looking at your stuff. Um, they might have one friend of yours, which ironically is going to be the same person in your field. Right. Um, and then they reach out, hey, yada, yada, I got, you know, this uh, TV show I'm casting for. Like, would you like to be a part of it? Then you go through the whole process of, you know, the application. Um so I graduated in 2014. That started, I would say, in 2015, where like maybe be like a year, every year or so, um, that I'd be applying for a TV show. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was always you. You never hear anything back. It's not like no, sorry, you didn't get it. It's just like <laughs> it's nothing. Nothing. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. So I think, I think the last one, it was like. The fifth or the sixth time I did it, mm. and it was just like, 
I don't even want to do this no more. He ain't tell us about none of the failures, though. He kept no, all this I mean, that's, low. We had no idea. Bro. No, that's, you that's punched all us it in is. the face with that news. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, for me, it was just like another interview. We was like, we about to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we celebrate each other. That's so real. Like, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. about to be on TV. No, yeah. I mean, even after telling you the news, it still it still won't hit until like, yeah, out it did. there. Yeah, it was. But I was right. on your head, Warner. <laughs> the moment he told me, I said, no, Justin, bro, bro. bro. Like, No, I knew it was yeah. going to hit. Like it was gonna this hit you. The start. I was like, yeah, you this gotta is, be ready. Cause yeah, when this, this joint is, come, you gonna have to have a t-shirt. I don't, cause yep. I didn't know. I'm like, bro, I don't know, but I know something gonna happen. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know. I just know. I remember Eric Thomas. This is where this comes from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you know, Eric Thomas said his only regret was not being ready when they went viral. Mm-hmm. They didn't even have shirts to sell. They had right. nothing to sell other than. Him getting get, get games, more gigs. Mm-hmm. Yep. He didn't have a way to get passive income. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I remembered that. And I said, whoa. So we're thinking, hmm. why do a podcast? We don't have no listeners. You know, we haven't done one since 2020, mm-hmm. the, the, the quarantine life, because you don't know what tomorrow brings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. All right, listen up. This is Stro saying, get ready to embark on a journey to wellness with our incredible sponsor, Motivation Central, the elite training center for your mind i want you to imagine reaching for the next level in your life with other individuals who are just as passionate as you are join franklin and i every saturday morning at 8 a.m for group coaching calls designed to transform your mind with proven strategies and high level accountability you know in the chaos of life self-care often takes a back seat But what if I told you that creating the best version of yourself could be as simple as immersing yourself in the right environment with others who are hungry and the culture of celebrating each other is already established? Hey, what if I told you that switching the lens on your big goals and dreams, you know, looking at them differently (laughs) would make them more manageable? Think of your dream like a huge block of ice. Well, to make that a nice sculpture, you'd have to start by hitting it once. In our sessions, we believe in balancing the five pillars of success, mind, body, spirit, soul, business. We come together to share what we call small wins. These are small goals that were executed this week that will ultimately lead to these big dreams that we all have. It's a call to action, an invitation to take your success journey more seriously and make every day a success. Your new chapter begins now. Join the movement towards becoming the best version of yourself with Motivation Central, the elite training center for your mind. Join today by visiting patreon.com forward slash maestro turner or visit our website at www.maestromotivates.com I'm, I'm not me I'm, I'm with smart, you though but you yeah know yeah what I'm saying? like yeah all these smear campaigns we run into people mm-hmm. who, yep. now sh- sh- there are people that really go through it yeah, and then culture, there are also yeah. we've yeah. seen clearly we've seen things happen where uh you you make a you step on a powerful person's toe mm-hmm. and they try to smear your name yeah the podcast is the is the artist of today's way of controlling their own nar- narrative. That's and true. That's that, true. Yeah, can't nobody just pop up tomorrow and say Franklin's crazy. He's no. on drugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just seen the podcast right. last week. Not a sign. He didn't even sniff or rub his nose or nothing. <laughs> you sure that's good information? <laughs> yeah. So you, y'all, y'all see good. what I'm saying? That's good. Yeah. I knew you needed to be prepared for the moment. Yeah. And you didn't, bro. You were so chill about it. <laughs> I said, Franklin, I don't think he really know. Yeah. I just just being on TV for five minutes can do you good. Yeah. So I just want to be like, yo, Justin, bro, something. Yeah. I don't care if you got a Patreon or or subscription only, mm-hmm. whatever. You have to have something for people to go mm-hmm. once they find you. Mm-hmm. And so. Yeah. And yeah, I think the timing was perfect. Like I said, like yeah. it didn't happen until like I fully invested myself into yep. JC Desserts, which yep. is crazy. It's like, man, this is like the business is ready. It's it's already going mm-hmm. by the time that it airs. But it's like by the time it airs though, it's 
it's right after Valentine's. It's like everything. And you already pushing. had the logo choose chose by the time it came. Yeah, out, right? everything was rolling. Yeah, everything was rolling. Yep. Website up. Um, no such thing as a Chrono yet. Nope. No, not yet. Nope. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Yeah. Um, I, well, I know when the game. Well, technically, <laughs> I technically, know when. I know when you when it. When it oh yeah, I'm yeah, a yeah. Fan, bro. I was gonna say. I was a fan. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still a fan. But. Yeah, no, I I I worked the recipe when I was back in West Virginia, what? and like I had them, I had people in there trying it. But we should be asking them what secrets he got now, because this this the next be just he got sitting on. It. Yeah, I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, I was sitting. but nah, it's yeah, good. I figured That's it out good. then because. That was the place I had went back to West Virginia because I knew I'd be able to like just work on stuff, yeah. just be in the lab and just like yeah. and focus on that. Like so like that. once I was like, mm, let me try like to actually create the Corona um, or recreate it wow. rather. It was like I had everyone try it and it was like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> what? And then and what year is this? I started the business in 2021 officially, so I think that was 2020. It was COVID 19 that year. Mm. Which was twenty, so it was like twenty. Yeah, it was like twenty. Wow, twenty twenty. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, so it was like yeah, I figured it out there, and then once I got here, of course, recipes don't always transfer from state to state like that. Like it's a chemical chemistry type of thing going on sometimes. Hmm. Um, so once I got back here, like it was just, it was still the same thing, but it wasn't like exactly what it was, um, what it is now. Mm. Um, but once I figured it out. How to how to really keep it consistent to where yeah. it was like my liking, um, to where I could have someone else do it and not like try to figure out all X Y and at. Z. Yeah, yeah. It was like that's it, that's it. Nice. Um, so yeah, once I released that, it was like right on time. <laughs> uh, took right off. Yeah. Well, right wait, 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 wait. So we're at the premiere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's time for Justin to show. The, the the show whatever all right so mm-hmm. I brought my little makeshift mic or whatever I had mm-hmm. and I was like Justin who's introducing you nobody well I'm introducing you mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like bro you can't just come out at your own thing uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so anyway I, I gotta walk out I introduce him mm-hmm. a lot of people come in and a mixed crowd and I was mm-hmm. like Justin's doing good yeah. for real for real it's not that our people aren't good enough yeah. But it's mm-hmm. dope to see that everybody loves your stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, it's, it's not a black thing. It's yeah. not a white thing. It's just a good product. Mm-hmm. That's big. Yeah. I if think that's been, important, right? Yeah. yeah. We had been open uh, a year before like it actually aired. Mm-hmm. So it was like. It was a mixed crowd. And I just, yeah. I didn't know. I was like, I never knew. <laughs> hey, Bob. Mm-hmm. Hey, <laughs> I was like, That's exactly Karen, right. are you? You know, it was just dope. It yeah. was, I, mm-hmm. I had not seen that, right? And I didn't, I didn't know he tapped into, you know, because because so so. Um, I got to be about race. I can hear you ready to comment. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's not, it's not that. It's just um, in Richmond, Virginia. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have to get their thing started off, and since. We're going to the open mics that are black experience and the, the karaoke nights or Lions Den or wherever you go, Bad Thursday or something. It's yeah. like you could take your business there and black people just jumping on your thing and it's sweet, mm. but it's kind of, you kind of get stuck and like, oh, well, how do I reach the other? Mm-hmm. Right. They're not just black people in Richmond. So when I walked into that room, I was like, oh, my boy made yeah. it. He yeah, made it, bro. That's, that's, that, <laughs> he made yeah. it. He's arrived. And that's yeah. transferable to like yeah. different, just marketing in general. You want I was gonna say, to yeah, I, stuff. like with yeah. the Stanley Cups now, it's like they they been out, but they marketed to a different type of person, and mm. now it's booming. Mm. So it's like yeah. my wife got two of them. She got one for her dad, <laughs> one for her dad, one for her. I was, I'm good. I don't need mm-hmm. it. Yeah. yeah, for me it's just I, a cup. I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'll get one, but I'm not standing in line and waiting mm-hmm. for maybe at Target waiting for it even open, and they just run in there. Four oh, minutes, know, they're all gone. I didn't know it was like that. It's bro, Dang. it's serious. Yeah, Starbucks okay. did a collab with Stanley. Oh, and okay. I, I tried to get one for Angie, and it was a fail. Mm. Every fail. It was like they were gone ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, just open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's nine twenty. <laughs> Y'all open at nine. Like, yeah, bro. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, and that's what I was really happy about because it's like starting. We really started from scratch, yeah, and so to speak. Because normally, like even if it's just like we're talking just with baking, mm. um, normally you're at a farmer's market to start off, or like you're selling it 
out your house somewhere mm-hmm. and you, you kind of build up into mm-hmm. like a space of somewhat. Um, but no, nah, we just started. Well, we didn't know what it was. We just know he said, I'm bringing out some desserts. Clearly, because that's what you do, right? And we're watching. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't, yeah. And he brings out these little balls, you know, balls. And then he just sets them, you know, <laughs> everybody, you know, everybody's getting the ball. A crow nut, a little crow nut yeah, is what he would, brought no, out. No, no, we didn't know they were crow nuts. Oh, That's why little, I have to say little balls. Oh, okay. So yeah, you kind of thought it was like little head. donuts. Dude, this no. sound like, um, man, go ahead. You got to finish. You got to finish. <laughs> Everybody getting mm-hmm. balls. So I'm just like, yo, <laughs> I, it's the only way yep. I can describe it. Right, just these little right. balls. And I'm like, oh, we got his donut holes. Okay, he made mm-hmm. his own donut holes. And when you bit into it, you saw layers. Yeah, okay. And it was like, mm-hmm. bro, what is and this? It was hot. Right. And it was like, yeah, what? It, yeah, what is? And what I, is I, it? I, I didn't get to um, actually eat one because I had to leave and go to a rehearsal. I had a show coming up. Okay. Jasmine told me about it. Wow. She was like, man. She said, um, didn't she have her? No, 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 no. Somebody's there had that kid. It wasn't Jazz. Oh, he's talking about um, Angelica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angelica yeah. daughter liked him, and I was like, okay, so we got the oh, kids. Oh, wow! And so, yeah, and, mm-hmm. and so, bro. Wow. I said, mm-hmm. I said um, remember on the next call, I said, y'all, I think Justin <laughs> found his McChicken. Yeah, yeah. Yep, every yep. business needs yeah. a McChicken. Yeah. You can't do them two thousand dollar cakes every day. Yeah. But them Cronuts yeah. just fly by. Man. There. And they were only this big, and so did you know that you was always going to make them bigger, or you just made them small because it was a, it was a big event and they were free, and you was just trying to keep the production down or something. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, I knew I was going to make them bigger. It was all that was always in the plan. Um, That's crazy. But man. even like looking at um, Dominic's one in New York, it was like it's still like a nice size. Like it's still a little How bit. How big lo- it is? Are they bigger than yours? No, 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 no. They're like slightly, <laughs> um, they're slightly bigger than like a normal size donut. Mm. So it's like you still get like, because your, yours is like a Mondo bro. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah, because I had saw somebody do a review. Um, they had did some type of review where they was like, or um, shoot, I forgot oh, what it was. No, no, it was like a YouTube. It was YouTube review, and then like the way they bit into it, I was like, that's what I need. Cause I could tell, like mm. she had, like she was very petite, so it was like her mouth looked small, it's like chewing the thing. So I was like, "That's what I want. I want somebody to have to like really open <laughs> wide." This man. I want them to open Keep, wide. Explain, yes. And bite the, it. The, I want it to be too big for like <laughs> actual <laughs> bite. <laughs> <They went> to... <laughs> I tried. Oh, Justin. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So this is all yeah. This is what you gotta think about. Go over their heads, boy. All right, go ahead, Breaking it down. So this is what we talk about when it's like um the customer experience. Mm-hmm. So it's like this is what's now gonna... I'm feeling goofy. You even messed me up now, bro. <laughs> like this is the, the customer experience that I want to where it's like, dang, I really like I can't just eat it just like normal, like I can't just like shove it in my mouth like a Twinkie. <laughs> the, the, the more I try to be serious, the more he messes me up. <laughs> I can't. Oh my! God. The visual. That? Are we posting that? We, that's going on Instagram. The but more, the, the more bigger it gets, the more shove it in my mouth. What are you talking about, bro? Are we still talking? We're talking about the museum. <laughs> <laughs> We're, just, uh, We're not even talking about your vacation anymore. <laughs> We're talking about your career your progression. <sighs> but now uh, this this is the conversation. <laughs> this is the conversation I had with myself. Oh man, mm. Justin! <laughs> I was like, this is it can't be normal. It can't oh, wow. be normal. Uh, so, this is good to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And customer experience. That's that's how I start. No, nah, but real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. If we really get into the food. Yeah. It's like I think about that part with all my stuff. So even if it's like the little chocolates where it's like I open up the box. I see that. We didn't even talk about the chocolates. I was going to say yeah, the chocolates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cronuts is the star of the show. The Cronuts. Yeah. 
This chocolates look like marble. That's what I'm saying. Like like, like, like stones. That's that architect. Mm-hmm. That's that. I know he was in there. Like, okay, mm-hmm. that's good. That we can put that one out. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep. The that's first good. Video we can put that I one did out with Justin. So I. I um, yep. Y'all know I do videos and edit and stuff. So. Um, that my head look extra shiny with those. <laughs> that joint just like I look like one of. Boy, but that never mind. <laughs> never mind. I, I can't say. It. I was about to say it like one of Justin's little balls, but I was talking about the, 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 the chocolates. The cho- <laughs> anyway, she just you right. Your balls, bro. Um, so, oh shiny man, it was, it was. It was pretty shiny on there. Um, uh, forget it. I'm done. <laughs> I do want to say though, but but his chocolates are amazing. Yes. to say the least. Yes. Oh, the first video I did for him was yeah. the, was the milk chocolate. Yeah, and he showed me how he the oh, process yeah. of him mm-hmm. doing milk chocolate. Yeah, you can't do what Justin does, and you don't have any patience. Just forget it. If you're not patient, <laughs> if you don't, mm-hmm. you just can't. You literally can't do what he does. He's doing it with so much. The same his chill right now. Yeah, and this is the most like on camera. I think this is the live as he's been on camera. So it's like this is exclusive, but he is very chill, very precise, very strategic. Um, what's your sign? Taurus. Taurus. Ah, when's your birthday? May 9th. Okay. May 9th. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll be day. Ju- That's ju- my wife's ju- birthday. What? Look at that. Oh, wait, what? what? That's my wife's birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, dang. Same day. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So you know you're not gonna get a happy birthday mm. to Frank. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. The way oh, the way he yeah. yeah he'll get you the day out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, right, I'm like, oh, dang. yeah. yeah Justin, Justin, my bad. <laughs> just like Justin clocks out, this boy, boy clocks out. With hey, his, yeah, I know that's right. He Look. blacks out. He's man, out. Right. I know man, that. Man, I, I'm, well, I'm about to start blacking out. I was about to say, we, I'm sure we'll do, let man, me if you be blacking out, don't try. You be blacking out. You know what I do? What I I just man, I'm I I I I will. I gracefully want, black I out. My people no to problem. pick up the phone for me when I call. <laughs> so I always make sure I do the same. True. As True. soon as somebody don't do it with me, they like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna wait till I finish whatever I'm doing. I'm scratching yeah, my yeah. butt and I'm gonna take more of the call, <laughs> scratch my butt and call you back. You yeah. So yeah. I, I, y'all, I'm just letting y'all know where y'all at with me. Y'all in the but nah, we, I we with you. right now. You know what I'm saying? It, it you do. Like, even you with do. the vacation, it felt very 90s in a sense where it's like you, there was no phone. I mean, there was, yeah. but it wasn't. Yeah. So that's it's pretty like, lit. That's pretty lit. Yeah. It's we, pretty and we're the so. last generation that knows what it's like with no phones. Mm-hmm. Millennials. This is, mm-hmm. this is, this uh, is it, bro. I tell my friends all the time. And they about to start calling us the old people soon. And we, mm-hmm. they, they try to already. Yeah. yeah they plus, they yeah. already yeah, trying to get us. Now. They already trying to get us. But we Remember got that. Was the future? We, we passed that. <laughs> we passed that. We passed that. Future. We, we passed that. that, but that's the thing. We the last. We the last of that. The now bridge the between. Like, yeah, it's man. it's weird. But no. So what you what you were saying about mm-hmm. how he introduced uh, the Corona? Yeah. That reminds me of. I don't know if y'all seen it. This is something I've I've watched this uh, YouTube uh, presentation several times. But Steve Jobs when he introduced the iPhone. Yeah. He did it real kind of like smooth. Yeah, it was like, oh hey, you know, would you like to send an email from your your phone, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You're like, okay, yeah, you can. You know, that was one way he described. It. And they said, would you like to, you know, also make a phone call, you know, in between. However, he did it. It was real smooth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that sounds like you know he knew what he was bringing. <laughs> yeah. Steve Jobs knew he was bringing the iPhone. Yeah, I saw. He knew um, he was bringing the Cronut, but it was a clip from Simon Sinek. I think that's how you say his name. Mm, mm-hmm. I think so, yeah. Where he I talks end. about, like, Apple really in general, where it's, like, how they communicate with the customer, where they start with their why, mm. and then they go out to the product. It's not like, here's the product. product. It does this, this for you. Yep. You should buy it. Yep. And it, But he go, works it from the back, where he kind of, um, pause. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it, but I was going to let it go. I was going to let it go. Let's see if he's going <laughs> to. You on a roll tonight, bro. I was thinking inside out, but um, um. <laughs> it don't work. Ooh. We need to call Bonnie. <laughs> it's oh, not Lord. a refill, okay? <laughs> <laughs> My man is Freddy, okay? Lord Jesus. Oh, let's get him out of here, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we gotta go home. Wait, she probably done text me now. Let me. Just... Oh, Lord. 
Oh, wow. Shout out to the men in couples. Mm, you know hey. what I'm we, 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 know, we lay down. You know love it. You know love, it love it, man. Shoot. Love it. Couldn't script that. Couldn't script that. To my wife. Thank you for my wife. Yeah, I, tell, I, I tell Kelsey, I was like, man, I couldn't script uh, meeting a person like her. So, uh-huh. yeah, you know, I'm, man. Oh, that's game. I like that one. Yeah. You know, you, you God, use, that was you smooth. Use, you could use that. But no, nah, that's real, man. That like, when smooth, you think about huh? it, you can't, you, I couldn't pick her. Like, that, that I couldn't do that myself. If I was the one choosing, I couldn't See, do that. He wants he me to post this on that. Post yeah, that, because I need, I need yeah. some brownie points, man. You know what I'm saying? I hold but no, a good month. Point. That's, that's real, though. a good month. That's line real, right there, yeah, boy. You might not have to take that trash for <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey. He said, psych, nah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you might yeah, have to do the dishes <laughs> one day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that. But no, man, that's real, though. It's good to be, you know, in this collective like this, too, man. It's, yeah, it's man. a good thing, man. It's it's, uh, it's healthy, man. Yeah. This yeah. is like this is like a form of therapy. This is yeah, fun. yeah, man. It's fun, man. Yeah, we ain't gonna get it all tonight, you know. That. No, man. Yeah, I'm like, bro, mm-hmm. like, like, it, 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 so, so, sure. just to have Justin this long, I'm telling mm-hmm. you, he's out of his comfort zone. He does not. <laughs> <laughs> we doing this for y'all because Justin this is big, though. Yeah, is he in the kitchen? Yeah, out the kitchen. Okay, mm-hmm. whatever yeah. that means. So, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so you know, yeah, we got to bring it to a close, man. It's, yeah, we got to bring Yeah, up, but, yeah. But, um, man, I feel like we're cutting this short. Well, why not? Um, so, <laughs> the t- I mean, the TV show, bro. We just, <laughs> just going to just. Oh, we, no. We went straight from. Dang. You yeah, right. we didn't yeah, even get Nah, it. we got to do it. We got we, we we to talk about that. Just yeah, to, yeah, just, yeah, to, yeah. Just, just the main thing of, oh, we're going to start here. Mm-hmm. Is it real? When we see the timers and we see mm. people sweating, we see somebody passed out on your your show mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that real? Is that all scripted? Is it? Is it? You know yeah. what? So it looks intense. It, are you really stressed out? Do they yeah. really put that timer on y'all? And you have a certain amount of time. Do you really not know uh, what they about to do next? I'm asking you all the questions. They yeah, want yeah, to yeah. No, it's uh, it's life change. I'll say this, it, just in general respect, um, it's life changing because for me. I was very aware, not only of myself, but like um, the other competitors mm-hmm. as well as the producers. And y'all were really competing. Yeah, because at the same time, as we're competing, it is a form of entertainment. Mm-hmm. So to keep that in mind, and it's now it's like, for me, it, it makes me question a lot of stuff I see on TV. Mm-hmm. Sporting events, news, all this other stuff. Especially and it's like, sporting events. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, It'll make you it make you wonder about a lot of stuff, um, but I will say yeah the the competitive side all of that the timers all of that the stress that oh the stress is out of this world you yeah. can't you you champion that joint you yeah you, you looked cool as a fan. I was gonna say yeah you, everybody bro people kept tweeting this dude got one face <laughs> and then they posted it like he almost became a meme he, he was, was locked really mm-hmm. out of here yeah. that joint would have caught on fire no, that it, meme but he was locked in your face like oh for sure. Like yeah. It, he it was locked. He was I, locked. I, it was the most stressful you could ever. Be. You can't yeah. that environment that mm. that bubble you're in. You can't recreate that anywhere. Like like I'll tell people now. Like when I was working in hotels, it's like you you'll make meals for like thousands of people at one time. I mean, but you have a team. Mm. You have someone to back you up. If you fail here, you got mm. you got time. You got someone to back you up. Um, there you are on an island. Um, Hmm. In the physical and mentally, wow. mm. like when I say like even the cameras cut off is like, it's a release, but you know you about to go do it within another hour or two or the next day, whatever it is. Hmm. Um, so it's like, like yeah, the last episode I cried. That was like, that was because it wasn't. You even, cried? Yeah, I dropped some tears on that thing. I ain't gonna lie. To <laughs> you. So what happened? What did you feel? What did you feel? It it was a release. It was. Hmm. All this stuff I carried on from the day one. How yeah. far did you go? We don't. I, I don't. Remember. So I think there was ten. Because it don't matter now. Because it just yeah, you yeah, just like, leveraged the whole situation. Uh, it was ten episodes. I got to the eighth one. Yeah. I don't. Ha- I don't remember how many people was left. But yeah. yeah, it was like the eighth. episode. It was long enough to get. Oh, for sure. it was too. Yeah. It, long enough to get some pub. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yeah. yeah, I don't take it back for nothing. But right, no, right, no. no. Now would beautiful. I do it again? It was. <clears throat> That's a good question. I'll leave it there. Because you don't have, it's like, bro, I don't have nothing to prove. 
my cronuts are mm-hmm. killer. Like, we, I, I think you have to have somewhat of an edge on your shoulder. Yeah. Like, I have something to prove. Mm-hmm. It's kind of tough for somebody that's proven to yeah. you know, try to jump back in that mindset. Yeah, because yeah. you have to bottle it up. Um, whatever yeah. you're feeling emotionally, <clears throat> you have to bottle it up. Because um, everything is, like you said, the time is real. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if you got an hour, two hours, um, the longer um, episodes was like four hours for or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no time to be like you really got like time to make like one maybe two mistakes. Yeah. Outside of that, it's like you got to be on it. Hmm. You got to be on it. So it was like it was a perfect timing because I felt like skill wise, I knew exactly what I needed to know. Um, and I and I'll tell anyone who worked for me now, where it's like figure out how to fix stuff. Cause mm-hmm. that's where you really grow. That's good. Um, being on a show, if you didn't know how to fix, or you didn't know the, the how the the ingredients work with each other, we, if I can talk with each other, mm-hmm. like you can't do stuff on the fly. You got to be, it's yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You have to know the foundation. In music, we would say you have mm-hmm. to know the theory, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you're asking someone make a this with a that, with a this, with a that. Mm-hmm. And now you are, you have even though you haven't made what they're asking you to make, you have to know what tastes come from what combinations. Mm-hmm. Am, I, am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. And while being wow. stressed out, while <laughs> trying to... Because he, he had, you, they, they be like coming off the, yeah. it seemed like the yeah. movie was off the cuff. Yeah. No, now, I didn't of, know that stuff was stuff, coming, right? Yeah, no, like one episode... They had asked me to Sheesh. bake with some type of, re- or not recipe, but um, ingredient, mm-hmm. where I was just like, I was a loss for anything. I, I didn't have no clue what to use, what to do with anything. Mm. Um, and then I tried it, like, it was, it was a spice. Ooh, what was it? It was sage. Mm. So it's like a very savory ingredient where I was wow. like, I don't know if it's going <laughs> to work, but I'm going to try it in this mm. cornbread. I'm going to throw some bacon in it. I'm going to throw some cheese in it. And then... It was nice. probably like the best thing I ever made. It. <laughs> That's wild. That's dope. Now, can I recreate it? It's, it's a little tough because a lot of times for me, in that type of situation, I was like, I was grandma with it. I was just like a little bit of this, a little bit <laughs> of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And some people was asking me to like recreate stuff yeah. from them. I was like, I don't remember. Yeah. Wow. And so we got to get into this. We got to mm-hmm. do the business. Wow. So you now are doing corporate um, trainings and. Uh, wow, teach him. Yeah. I, I remember I went with him one time, yeah. and he was teaching him how to use fondant and make it stuff. Mm-hmm. So he, mm-hmm. made a, he taught them how to make a flower. I don't want to tell too much because y'all should book them. Yeah, but, uh, true. You know what I'm saying? He taught them how to make things with fondant. Mm-hmm. So you no, know, that's just a little bit of that. Like yeah. you also do like experiences. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So yeah, we do the whole, um, and that was just where I'm super happy about where the business is, um, how it's built because we really we're over different phases of like events so mm-hmm. like if you're at a wedding we cover that uh, we have um, products for like small parties where it's like you want to ha- you know really have something special and unique but mm-hmm. it's not going to break the bank we got that yeah so we just got into a new space um, where we can really hone in on the experience of you know the private um, classes or group classes uh, which I'm really excited about because I mean it's nice. it's different to really you know be in a, the same space your workspace but with you know people who've never been there uh, mm-hmm. who've never experienced like a professional kitchen yeah um, dope, really man. get your hands dirty on stuff so yeah I'm I'm excited about that you did the uh, Jay Sergeant Reynolds where you had mm-hmm. to be a motivational speaker mm-hmm. and wow. yeah. I literally told him that he was gonna have yeah. to do it. Yeah, yeah. And like a week after, he's like, "Yeah, I got this gig." Got I'm like, it. "Bro, <laughs> I just keep telling you, bro. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So it, Get it, ready. It comes with mm-hmm. the territory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. people sure. that that are saying, "Well, I'm shy and I'm all this stuff." Well, well, don't pray to God for the next level because mm-hmm. with the next level is new devils. A and lot. You it will require you to do more. Yeah. Um. You also. Are responsible if you are like me and you follow Christian uh, principles and you follow God-like principles. Yeah. We are to look after the people that are coming right behind us, right? Right, right. Awesome. There are people that are coming up behind us, right? So if we're doing that, then and I think you know what I'm saying. You will have you, to speak. Yeah, as you speak mm-hmm. about that, it's like I think a lot of people are scared to become not themselves. 
which mm. in actuality you are just becoming a better version of yourself. Mm. And I think that's that's really what it is. We'll see you next week. That's that was it. That was it, bro. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. That was it. And we've been going a little mm-hmm. bit. This is not the only time we're gonna touch on Justin uh with the podcast. So it's just like uh, wow. we just wanted to give y'all a thorough introduction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is one of the episodes that where uh, you know, you you just follow Justin, you you followed the page, you've seen the cronuts. This is a chance for you to get to meet the man mm-hmm. behind the pastry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, hey, Franklin, you wanna close this out, bro? Yeah, man. Good stuff, brothers, as always. And thank you all for your support, tuning in. Yeah. We'll catch you on the next one. No excuses, no days off. All right, y'all. Peace.